little bit of goosebumps there with that graphical intro. What's up, world? Welcome back. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. My name is Kevin Martin. Of course, it is the Super Million Show, and I'm looking at the lineup today. Oh, boy, we got the sickest lineup today for today's 10K final table. We're going to watch some of the best players in the world play for a lot of money. I'm always excited, and I know this man is excited. My guest today, our guest, the Flow Show himself, a.k.a. Jeff G, baby, a.k.a. the best friend in poker, the Flow Master, it is my good buddy Jeff Gross is with me here today. Let's bring him in. He's looking flush. Je Jeff, there's energy in your face. You know, you got a three-year-old kid. I was wondering, maybe you show up with bags under your eyes. Maybe you look withered. I say that's not the case. You look fantastic, my brother. Hey, appreciate being here. Thank you so much. This is a real treat. Huge stage today, 1.1 million up top. I mean, this is a supercharged Super Millions. Big names, big expectations for the show today, Kevin. I'm excited. I know we're probably going to gamble. I've seen you've been gambling. I think you've had a tough go. I'm, I'll be your Huckleberry today. You tell me what you want to play for, and and I'll, I'm just in. So you tell amazing, me what you want to do, amazing. and, and so, we'll, we'll do it. I love it. Jeff, I'm super stuck on this show, gambling with my host. Jeff is, you know, he's a baller. He's ready to put in some money down. You know, it's it's also in line with the theme of the poker world this week. Obviously, you know, a couple of days ago, we saw this, like, record-breaking cash game with streamers, YouTubers, ninjas, firing money. So I think we're going to, you know, get some high-stakes prop betting today as well i see everybody in the gg youtube channel you guys are here we're excited drop us a quick thumbs up i think we're gonna get cards in the air asap here jeff it's been too long man it's been way too long dude it's been a long time i'm following along I, again taking a little bit more of a dad role i see you crushing playing uh streaming doing it all so you know congrats on, on your run right now I'm, I'm enjoying the commentary i'm enjoying the, the streams and uh look forward to, to to catching up personally as well as learning and watching some great poker today Yes, absolutely. Let's jump down for the first hand. We got some killers today. A couple people you know. I mean, my goodness. Let's uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Cards are in the air. First of all, let's all look at the bottom right of the screen. 1.1 million up top. My goodness, 1.2 million almost. Bigger edition. It was a super millions week on GG Poker. So you see this inflated prize pool, which uh, makes us even more excited. Here we are, nine-handed. Jeff, you know some of these killers. Who kind of stands out for you right out, uh, right off the bat? I got to go Patrick Leonard. I mean, the guy is just a human content machine. He's got unbelievable, unbelievable Instagram stories. He really gives you an, it's almost like he's streaming, but via Instagram with what he shows you. I don't know how he does it. I, I, it's like live. He's got 20 tables. He's like falling hands, doing what he does. So that's what I'm looking at. That's the guy that I think is maybe the most dangerous, but a, some really high profile players here. Simon Matson, we see opening right away. You guys know Darwin, just an absolute crusher as well. And Andre Novak, some, some big names here. Who, who, who's your pick? I mean, a lot of these names, I mean, uh, pads with 10 million. I've been playing with pads recently and uh, he's, he's super tough to play, but man, we got some really deep stacks would lie to you to the right of pants is 14 million. My goodness. When this first hand is also very interesting. Darwin opens early position, ace queen suited a three bet bluff to the small size from Andre. Hmm. Yeah. Not surprised. Ace queen suited kind of a, just a call hand and we're going to go post flop. And this looks like uh, Andre has a dominated hand, but I kind of predict they're able to find victory here after three bending pre. Oh, Nick Mamone is there with 11 million. Wow, we're deep, deep, yeah. deep, deep. There he is. You know, yeah. you know Nick personally, actually. Yes, good guy, great player. I mean, he's been around since the beginning. This is FU15 online, has a, has a great pedigree. He's really played, you know, so much poker for so many years and the guy's an absolute crusher. So can't sleep on him. Definitely got to be one of the favorites today. Also, Nick, I mean, he's running well this week. Maybe we don't want to bet against him. Nick, uh, in the day two mystery bounty, he won the biggest bounty for $110,000 on the GG Poker mystery bounty. So my goodness, yeah. uh, he's running hot. And he's having himself a week and here he finds himself at a sick final table. Quarter pot after the three bet pre, pretty standard. Ace, queen, heart, heart, mm, Darwin does peel, man. These guys fight and these, these guys fight a little bit harder than the average cats do. I just want to point out, like, all right, Simon Matson, unbelievable player, so experienced, probably has a lot of history with Novak. This is a crazy start, right? There's so much ICM. This is real money, 1.1 million. If you go out right now, you get 140 some odd dollars. There's like a million dollars in between that gap. And to just have ace queen suited, it shows that he's very comfortable to play post flop. I mean, here he is. He's got the best hand. He's on the turn. He's out of position. SPR stack to pot ratio is close to one here. And um, he's got the winner now going to the river, Kevin. This is a tough spot though. This is sick, man. This is really sick. Simon's, Simon's going to check. He's going to, he's going to check. The question is, what does Andre do? 
you got to think if from Andre's position, like, you know, the turn, I thought maybe ace nine would have been aggressive. This is, this is crazy. We have ace high versus ace high, maybe a nice little uh, sneak peek at the sickness we can see today. So yeah, see Darwin checks. He has the best hand. Does Andre just check? Maybe you win once in a while. Maybe you chop once in a while. But I got to think Ace Nine with this line is close to zero showdown value. Let's see what Andre does. I mean, he can't think he's really good. I mean, what yeah. is suited wheel? Does he open then call the three bet and, and stick on? It's not club. I mean, he has a club in his hand. Uh, he does go for the full cheese, the enchilada. We see a huge, huge, huge bet here on the river, putting them all in. Wow. This is a. Uh, Quite a start this is show. nasty this is nasty now simon has ace queen of hearts doesn't block the flush but may i mean if he can find a call here he's already such a god in the poker world this would be unreasonable if he can find the call button here going through the hands you no know, maybe andre has something like king nine suited queen nine suited jack nine suited king ten off the ace nine off as we see these kind of bluffs do present themselves uh this is this is we're, we're in the matrix already jeff you start thinking though, let's say Andre did have the flush somehow, like, you know, King nine suited or some of those bluffs that have clubs. What do you check back? The board pairs on the turn. Is he just going to check back his flush? I mean, this is what Simon's starting to think about. What is he representing? What does he have? And ultimately oh. gets it done. Nice start for Novak there. Very nice start. And Ace queen. I've talked about this hand for years, Kevin. I don't know if you've ever been in this camp. This is something, one of my things, I wrote a poem about Ace queen. This hand is so problematic. It's so troublesome when you're ahead it's hard to get to, to a winner like we saw there. And when you're behind, you're just behind and in big trouble and going to maybe get stacked. So um, very, very tough hand. And Simon tried, but uh, ultimately got blown off at the end. Yeah, that was Doyle Brunson's original take back in Super System that uh, good players lose money with Ace Queen all the time. I remember the years that we were kind of in content houses together, you know, 2016, 2017. Jeff and I were roommates for a bit, always collabing back in the early phases of Twitch poker content getting created. I remember many late nights tilted Jeff would be raging about Ace Queen. I, I will never forget that. <laughs> I just wish I stuck to what I said, just like hold, you know, just get rid of it. I think if I just like open mucked it or played it less, it'd be better. And da Daniel Legrand, you referenced it as a 2.7 hand on ESPN coverage back in the day, saying that he's lost $2.7 million uh, with that hand, but tough hand to play. Very tough hand to play. Man, I'm, I'm loving a, how much money's up top in this uh, millions B the big stacks we have. We have, Four players sitting like 80 to 90 big blinds deep in Nick Andre would lie to you pads. And let's see how the button plays here with pocket jacks. Just flats, just wants to keep the spot a little bit smaller. That's going to bring in pads as well. And we're going to see a three way action here on this one. Yeah, if you're Patrick, you love this price. You're in the small blind and he Whoa. does actually fold. So maybe note to self, the guy's a wizard. Maybe that's just a, just a pure fold. You don't want to get set over set. You just decide that, you know, you're not going to call out of the small blind. You're going to flop a set like eight and a half to one. Uh, a little surprised by that fold though, Kevin, are you? Shocked. I can't believe he didn't peel. I was mentioning this, you know, while the countdown was going, me and the guests always banter a little bit. Pads is so good and I've been battling pads a bunch lately like recently he's been at a bunch of my tables i've seen him do so many like unorthodox things that i don't really know what's going on but i assume they're good because he's so good but i just don't know what the reason is for some of his plays and that i mean add that one to the list I, you know i think almost every poker player peels the threes they're super deep uh, but pads gets away from it and you know those little pairs jeff you call you're always hopeful you only hit a set like one in eight times so uh chip wasters people call those little pairs sometimes and uh, interesting spot here, Simon gets dealt the exact same ace-queen suited. And like I said, this hand is tricky, right? You're thinking, what is my opponent shoving? Is he shoving ace-jack? Probably off that stack size. Do it my dominating hands. Ultimately, too good a hand. We're going to see five here on the first flip of the day. Big equity spot. Big flip. Got to win the all-ins. Fives are holding. Oh, no river card needed here as Simon is alive. But a rough start for them. Ace-queen of hearts, 0 for 2 with that hand. Is Mr. Zhao, the short stack doubles. Yeah, uh, can't blame either player. Pretty much standard spot on how that went down. Kevin, are we going to do a draft? Are we going to pick people? Do you yes. want to do this or not? Yes, I mean, yes. Chips are Let's flying, gamble. Man. Let's, get Let's some... gamble. Just getting the uh, the Twitter tweet out there to let people know we're live with Mr. Flow Show. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's let's gamble, Jeff. I love that. I love that, you know? Absolutely. 
Yeah, this is, uh, again, we're seeing ace-queen, very active. A lot of king-queens there. We see some very play. Oh, my God. Yeah, Kevin, while you're tweeting, we got aces in the big blind. Hand rank one. Ooh. Some big hands here. We saw Andy King-Jack suited. King who Jack also suited. may be interested. This is, this is a this very sh- – sh- Short deck-esque uh, holdings here, kind of. <laughs> I know you play yeah. a little short deck, but uh, this is all the big cards are out. Yeah, and – you know, there's a, there's a certain stack depth where King Jack suited is just a rip. You can rip like 60 blinds profitably as just like the kind of an interesting hand to throw in. And if, if that happened to be this time for that, even though it's under the gun one plus flat, so a little different than sort of late position and, and whatnot, but you can see the wheels Souls. were spinning. Yeah. Good, good discipline. There. He, he sensed some danger, just mucks the King Jack of diamonds. Now with aces here, I don't think we can get tricky. Call's not an option. Small three bet's not really an option. I think we have to go all in. I know that generates a lot of folds and you have aces you don't want to generate folds but this is clearly the play interesting i don't think king queen is a decision ace queen a little decision but uh i think ace queen is going to hit the muck as well if they're you know listening to the jeff uh, gross poker theory yes absolutely ace queen worth no more than two big blinds pre-flop that hand is worth yeah it's uh it's a it's a it's a it's an unfortunate spot but actually very fortunate that he wasn't deeper and maybe put him in a difficult situation with a, with a three bet uh, and and then going to be in a very difficult spot with ace queen, but he does get away. And Nick Mamoni, who actually has some math, he's doing some equation, he's definitely understands how much money's in the middle and what hands he could be up against, and uh, he's considering. I think he's considering. I mean, folding king-queen suited pre-flop just hurts. I think he's having a little funeral emotionally. Like, it's such a beautiful top-tier hand. I can't, I can't fathom a call here, though, when, like, Zhao's shoving range is, you know, eights plus ace queens, ace kings. King queen is just like shredded super hard by that range. Uh, but you know, he's running hot. He won the mystery bounty. Yeah, not surprised to see the fold there. Uh, all right, Jeff, let's gamble a little bit. I think we should set the stage here. Uh, yeah. I'm open for anything. Historically, what we've been doing, I think what has worked well is we just each rock with one horse. If our horse wins, we win the bet. If, you know, a non horse wins, it's a chop. Uh, but uh, we did a snake draft one time. It got a little bit too convoluted. I think one horse, we can put all our energy into one uh, one player and really uh, 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 play for a sizable amount of money here. So, yeah, I'm open to whatever. How, how would you like to do it? What is the, the what is the way? Do we see a flop? We see red or black. We get to choose. Yes, and then we yes. Go red, or, red or black on the flop for the first pick. Go ahead. Pick, pick, pick for this one. What do you think? Uh, That's going to be the next one. Next one, I'll take red. Red. Okay. Jeff has red. I have black. We'll determine the first overall pick. And uh, you, 1K? 1K prop bet? I'm, I'm, op- I'm open for business. Whatever you want to do, I'm in today. It's okay. your day, Kevin. Let's start uh, with a 1K. W- w- 1K prop bet. And then maybe we'll. there's other ways to gamble as the show goes along. Again, you know, if I have to cut you, you, you know, I'm stuck about 1.7 historically on the show. It, you know, I feel like Either I want to be down like 5k or I want to be even somewhere in that range. <laughs> no problem. I, I can, I will, I will help. I will oblige in this, uh, in, in, in that. No problem. We'll start with 1k and we need a flop first. So see if we'll get one. I yeah, will see it. You know, Nick raising this sometimes checking sometimes. This is kind of one of those uh, polarized finds you need to find in the big blind sometimes. And Nick finds it space not going anywhere. Limp shove an option, limp call an option. Limp raise not all in an option. You could really just kind of uh, do a variety of things here. Yeah, I, I think, you know, this is one of those, you're just so high up in your range. Ace jack off, you know, Nick's going to take the whole playbook, small blind, big blind. He's going to be textbook and you're just so such in a good spot. Ooh. He does go with the lower uh, variance. You know, he just, just calls, but now he's out of position. He really hits the top, top best, yeah. best he could get. And his opponent actually does have top pair as well. So, Quite a spot for us. Uh, for couple, space here. couple of things going on here. First of all, flop is red, so you're going to have the first overall pick. Uh, and uh, we actually see top pair versus top pair here. You know, Jack Four bluffing pre-flop has turned into quite an amazing hand. This one uh, could damage Nick's stack a little bit. Ooh, open ender now. There are some levels going on here. Poker's hard, right? I mean, look at even with the ace jack versus jack four, you got a trap. There's not going to be a lot of better flops. And here you go. You got you got a very sweaty card for your equity. You're in, you're in a bit of a, you know, still a very good spot, but all of a sudden things get a little dicey and you're you're kind of guessing because Nick has such a wide range, right? With all his yeah. trash, all his air balls, he's going to be kind of kind of on board here. 
on that on that low board and uh now you got a you got a winner he checks back and, and you're safe card on the river yeah one bet is going to go in here either way i think okay nick is going to value bet right space has played this extremely slow checking every single street i believe nick is going to value bet target something like fours ace five ace three suited pocket sixes these kind of hands you know nick thinks he has the best hand right now after this uh river check yeah, the, the sizing is so curious. Oh that my is, that god, is, dude! I mean, that is that is incredible for so many reasons. I like to think of Fu15 Nick Mamoni as an aggressive player. It shows you how dialed in he is and into spots and where he's at. And that is, I mean, that's honestly that's a bit shocking. How good that is or bad, you could say. It's so so crazy. It's so good. I mean, what a play there! Loses the Unbelievable. absolute minimum. Unbelievable! Unbelievable to check the top pair twice, blind on blind. All right, Jeff, you got the first overall pick. Who's your horse? This is a somewhat high stakes bet here, so so pick wisely. It is high stakes. I mean, I'm torn. I'm, I know who you're going to pick if I either way. So it's just a matter of one, two. It's just it's I got to go with Patrick, man. Patrick at about ten mil. He's pulling threes out of the small. He's so dialed in. I, I got to go with Leonard, man. I'm going Patrick. All right. Jeff has chosen pads. All right. I think my three decisions, it's, it's, it's a th who should I pick? Andre is there. Nick is there. And would lie to you is the, uh, let me quickly check out. Do we have any info and would lie to you? He's a WSOP ring winner. It's not easy to win. He's got that, at least yes. that. So he knows how to close. For hardware uh i can give you i can that's what i can disclose I don't he know. has a ring historically only 400k earnings on gg poker he is the chip leader do i go with the chips hmm. <laughs> all right i am going to go with the man with the hot hand he is in a good position at the table he's having an amazing week i mean he just checked back top pair correctly twice uh give me nick m as my horse i'm gonna lock it in my question is, if I had picked Nick, would you have picked pads? Because that was that was like I was wondering if I could double dip. Those are the, those are the two I wanted. Would you have gone yeah. pads next? The, I think you I think you would have. Would lie to you at 14 million. I gave a serious consideration to, but he's in kind of a tough spot to the right of pads there. So, you know, Nick, I like phys Nick's position at the table. It was definitely good. Nick and pads probably one and two. So I think we got, you know, the two high, highest equity horses. Good luck, Jeff. Firm handshakes. You know, uh, you know, I, I want to win. I historically have ran very bad in these bets. So I'm hoping for good things to have happened. But, you know, if, if I lose to you, I'd uh, be happy to send you a big wire transfer. So is this is this all or nothing? Or are we going to keep picking and see who gets further? Or is it whoever gets further? Is it must win? Tell me what you're doing. There's so many variations. I yeah, got to know we're gambling for. We're doing must must win. If you know, if if your horse wins, obviously I lose. I owe you, owe you a K. If Nick wins, you owe me a K. If anybody else wins, chop chop. And that's kind of fun. If your horse gets eliminated, you have to like anti sweat the other horse. It's a good little uh, way to go. How, how about how about some blood? How about five hundred for last longer or something? It's just some sort of way that someone's making a, a financial transaction. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff just wants the blood. I accept that as well. 500 for the last logger um, if neither wins, but uh, if one wins, it's just a K total. Okay. That sounds good. All right. We are set. Chips on the table. Let's go. Uh, Jeff, did you watch that crazy stream the other night? <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. I did not. I did see a lot of the Twitter reactions. Like, I don't, yeah. again, I, I don't want to say, you know, father, three-year-old, it's, it's on my list. It's there. I got it pulled up, ready to watch. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, but I, I did see some highlight hands and I did kind of see the overall consensus from that, that epic, you know, situation. Let's just call it a situation. Cause that is, that is a high octane powered stream of, uh, content creators in there. So yes, I, I did get a gist of what happened. Uh, give Man, me a take. It lit the poker world on fire. It was so crazy because it was that true crossover. You know, people talk about the potential poker boom, if it could ever happen, like, you know, it would need to come from the esports world, content creators world. Man, it was really special. It was really, really, really special. It was, uh, you know, almost 100K viewers between both streams, Hustlers, and then, you know, uh, Ludwigs or whatever. It's just so crazy to see poker amateurs playing such deep, high stakes poker. You know, like Botez is sitting 200K deep, Ninja's sitting 200K. Like, it was just like, I was like, what world are we living in that I this mean is going on right now? It was just so fun the the memes as well right like they, yeah. i heard ninja say he's here for that like just some of the like the faces and you know helmuth listen i'm a huge helmuth's my guy I, he's just a guy i know him well i love him he's got a big heart i think he got kind of short i think how it all 
played out, he got a lot of slack in a lot of different spots. Take away the one spot that looked kind of funny with the, the ace nine, a six, but just like how much he was buying in um, some of the other ways that were handled. Cause again, like you, this is a, a content creator sort of event. Helm used to, you know, most world series bracelets, but I just think he got kind of, um, I think if he could have redone it, right. He would have maybe had a different game plan or thought a little differently mm-hmm. about the whole situation. Cause he got, what he got some is that his MO is it? I think we got a very on, you know, I historically on- have been a big helm youth fan, but I was yeah. lighting him up on Twitter because that's like my world. I understand, you know, all of these bracelets or whatever. I, I haven't, I don't have the expertise to interject my opinion but when it comes yeah. to Twitch, YouTube and poker. That is like the world I have lived in as Mr. Zhao, excuse me, um, the four deuce three bet from the small blind. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is, he puts the nine, one, like emergency nine, one, one out there. And he is going to hear from Patrick here. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, we saw Patrick fold threes. This is a completely different situation, but this is looks strong, man. This looks strong Ooh. and, uh, just, wow. I mean, excuse me. I mean, the 10, the, the four deuce, the four deuce field decision. Felt it wrong there. My goodness, what a time to pull the three bet bluff out. Take take away the blockers or whatever. He just went for a pure savage. I think Patrick's gonna give me respect, and and that didn't work out. And here we see aces getting passed around again. Our two guys. Yeah, this these could, are our flat, two horses. A flat could get dicey, but they're so deep. I don't see a scenario where this this is getting flat. Yeah, they're so deep. He's gonna make it one point one million as a guess, somewhere in that range a little bigger just because how deep but maybe not maybe he's about maybe he could have an exploit on the sizing but i would kevin's dialed in i mean that i do you think that's an exploit at all or are you just going 1.1 1. 1? i mean if he has like ace four suited do you think he's yeah. going bigger i think in general when uh icm presents itself as a concept like just three bet sizes go down slightly and uh and yeah it's just like if this was the start of a tournament you know probably 4x but just at the final table i think people size down three bets a little bit um yeah Nick picks yeah. that one up. Nice, I, I, wanna, nice. I want final thoughts on that crazy cash game. I was flaming Helmy on Twitter because that is my world of expertise. And his he stayed on brand, but it was just a wrong place for his brand. He a like played horrible. He played horrible. Like obs- I, I can't believe some of the decisions he made. He's sitting with these amateurs. He's an opportunity to win money. And the way he was raised folding premium hands to beast and stuff. And like, he, he played terrible, lost a hundred K and then like it, it, his, his, it just didn't mix, you know, Ninja was there. Beast was there. They're looking to have fun. It was like this old poker player that his gimmick that worked 20 years ago. It's just like, I was frustrated because I felt like they could have inserted so many other people into that situation and gotten a better result. Um, but you know, like <laughs> Credit to Phil Helmuth. We always talk about Phil Helmuth. That's his thing. We yeah, always hey, we can't shut up about Phil Helmuth, whether it's good or bad. And this they, time it was mostly for bad reasons. But like credit to him, he creates a conversation. You know, they say no, no bad press or no press is bad press. And like you said, he's definitely I think the most talked about this week. But there did seem like almost anger from a lot of the influencers and poker oh, content yeah. people. They were they were not thrilled. And like you said, I, I love I got a lot of love for Phil, and I haven't seen the whole stream, but. Just a couple of situations that did seem, you know, like, um, yeah, he got a tough. And Alan Keating. So I've known Alan since I started poker, basically. I met him in 2006. We were both 19 playing in Windsor, Canada, now called mm-hmm. Caesars Windsor. And, you know, he was always, he's always, uh, you know, goes for it, take shots. I, I mean, it, I, one of the stats that popped out, I think he lost like 1.1 million. I mean, that is, he basically threw yeah. the party and he's probably one of the more experienced players there. I didn't see if he ran bad or it was just, maybe he was gambling a lot himself. I know he's an action player, but that's a, he, that was a he big ran very bad, but he VPIP 75%, right. <laughs> which, which is so legendary. He VPIP 75% of hands. He actually just ran like so bad, but uh, I mean, I'm a big Alex Keating fan as well. It's just, it's such an amazing event. I hope they run it back. People you know, keep it seems saying to be Alex, big... it's Alan. Alan, everyone's writing Alex. That's a guy with the beard, like the crazy big beard, Alex. Gotcha. This is Alan. But yes, he, he's he's a great guy and fun. And like you said, he's the right fit for that group, right? That's, oh, that's yeah. the kind of guy you want to see in there for sure. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. Anyway, that was fun. We could talk about that forever. It was such like a, you know, it was such a crazy poker event that it really stirred up everybody and like will be talked about for a long time. Oh my goodness, that was something. I mean, there was, there was thousands of poker players that would have done nasty, disgusting things to get a seat at that game. <laughs> 
It's true. So true. Well, picking up, picking up here, we got some big hands. Tens and ace king. Novak showed us some moxie with the ace nine off. Here he's got a real hand. And uh, this is this is interesting because they are fairly deep, but uh, definitely some money going to go in the pot here. Yeah, we're going to see a three bet in position from Andre, I believe. If the original opener here, take a crack at this name, D. Kaladat Jurjev. I think you, you, that's pretty good. I'm going to leave a it lot there. of consonants. There's J's in there, D, J's. There's multiple J's, V's. Sometimes you see some wild names here. Interesting spot with the tens facing the three, but you're, this middling stack is like one that doesn't really want to go broke here. I think we're just going to see a call. Uh, most of the time. If you think your opponent's getting out of line, the four bet shove becomes a fun option, but they're still kind of deep. Let's see what he does here with the tens. This is an uncomfortable one. Yeah. For sure. Especially because he opened from early position. Does go for the four bet shove. And now Andre's actually in a little bit of a spot. He snaps wow. it in. This is a huge pot. This is essentially for a chip lead pot here. Wow. Wow. The One chips are flying. Two tens. Slow peel. Oof. Cool. Splits it. Splits it right there. Um, that is a huge pot and a pay jump for everybody who's going to be happy and see a player go out. But uh, Andre looking very healthy now with 17.4 million. That is a that is a that is a stout stack, Kevin. That is what a that is flip there. Good. Yes, good, 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 good game to Dejan. Experienced player rocking the Pokemon avatar. Jeff, bonus points if you know what that Pokemon is. Take a crack at that. Um, I have zero. I, I do not know what that is. I, I have no, is no that, idea. Is that Gengar? Gengar? I'm trying to remember. 147K. I don't have that. <laughs> Ladder for everybody. You don't yeah, that, I don't have that. <laughs> a couple um, Pokemon years from my you know junior high uh, times. I do want to say, wow, he's getting after it now with the big stack. Andre King 5, a light open, but uh, going to attack. What does Pads do here with the 10s? Takes a different approach than we just recently saw the last hand. Just calls preflop. Now, this is an interesting one. Single race pot versus small blind. King five catches a pair. Pads leads. It's fun to watch, Ooh. right? I mean, these are, this, uh, this is high level. Chat confirming that is indeed the famous ghost Pokemon, Gengar. Wow. I can't believe I pulled that out of, out of I can't believe I got that right. Kind of a, a tough spot if your pads as well, because his his range is just so wide. He's got the massive chip lead. He's attacking the the big blind. I mean, he could have a lot. You see King Five off. So it's sort of this board, although looks decent for tens, especially the pair pairing on the turn, the card, the four, the bottom pair. Uh, it's still tough if your Patrick can get a lot of heat here. Yeah, leads King Five calls turn four. Pad slows down for now. Andre has an interesting hand here. Imagine he's going to lean towards check. Yeah. I think both players are going to seek showdown on this river. 2.6 yeah. million in the middle. That was an unbelievable flip there. Ace king versus tens. Hans does right. go for this blockish third size. It does have a key card there. The, the ten of diamonds, although like flatting, what what hands is he flatting pre those suited broadways like queen ten of diamonds, king ten of diamonds? Could he would he be leading these type of hands though if he has that? Um, this is this is why the game's so interesting. And as we see a little unconventional folding the threes, at least from mine and your perspective, you now Pats is uh, you gotta just assume he's in the the current highest level um, in spots, and he's putting Novak to a tough tough decision here because he's got some showdown, but he also may feel he doesn't have the best hand. So it's a Tricky, tricky spot. Yeah, king five here. You know, turn goes check, check. You're facing this block. You have a king that blocks king, queen, king 10, king nine suited. Does get away from it. Adds. You can just see the clean plays, the thought behind his game, the intentional decision making. He's one of the best for a reason. Yeah, high level stuff. And Novak here with the real hand, Ace Jack. I'm not going to get too much resistance here, it looks like. And and Simon Matson at 1.7 million all of a sudden sitting on about nine blinds. 
Uh, the pay jump's still around 50,000 per spot, but we can see, I mean, look at fifth mm -hmm. or fourth, I mean, 540,000. That's a typical first place in some of this unbelievable millions action we get weekly. So this is, there's a lot of meat on the bone here, Kevin, 1.1 yeah. in a poker tournament online, 10 K buy-in quite a turnout for this, this event. Exciting. I've stuff. done. I've done a bunch of these shows, usually a normal week on GG, it'll be 400K up top, half a million. If it's a bigger one, it'll be 600K, but this was a special one. It was a special super millions week on GG Poker. GG Poker, of course, uh, you know, pumping out these excellent, excellent tournament series. There's some, some, there's some serious juice coming down the pipeline is all I'm going to say. I don't think I can go any deeper into that, but uh, we're going to see a battle here between our two horses. Very fair fight. Ace-10 offsuit, king-queen. King Queen, not a hand you want to bluff out of the big blind. And Pats, Pats feels strong right now. Marcelo in the chat, Bart, good to see everybody. The Danish sausage. We do have a bet, me and Jeff, 1K prop bet. Jeff has pads with the number one pick. I had the number two pick. I took Nick here, who is in a little bit of hurt. Flop second pair, check calls. Now let's pay attention to pads here on the turn. If we're in the early stage of the tournament, Ace-10 is going to seek two, if not for sure, three streets of value. Final tables work out a little bit differently, though. Often, like, a situation that can be three streets for value at the start of a tournament turns into two streets of value at the final table. The pads goes for this big turn size. Now, Nick, out of position, hating life with the king-queen here. What do you think king-queen's doing here, Jeff? Oh, mucks it. Nice. Tough spot again. I mean, this is this is uh this is gonna be a mm -hmm. theme. I think we'll see these players kind of playing more than most post flop. Of course, they know they know what hands they're supposed to play and not, but I think Novak's also shown us the ability to just take his range and go with it. So he's got the chips and he's gonna be playing a lot. Mamoni very comfortable. And uh, those guys are the three, three healthy stacks along with would lie. Is it would lie to you? Kevin, you said you've seen him on here before. He's would lie to you. I mean, he's a ring winner. He's a little more like his GG poker account doesn't have a ton of results, but I mean, the results right. he had, he won a WSP ring, which is pretty sick. Oh, we're going to see a clash here. Blind on blind premiums, premiums, premiums. Wow. This is, this is just, I mean, this is a, this is the amazing thing about poker. You can play great. You can put yourself in a great position, but ultimately some of these high EV flips the equity flips are, are spots where you're just gonna you know it can be worth the difference in a year you could be getting a million dollar score or a hundred k score and just like this again no real path away from scene five here and and probably pre-flop looks like here comes the four bet and here comes the snap good luck andre's one wow. for one of big flips here's another one the ace king worked for him last time wow church kevin church, church i know that's your strong, hand dude. i know you're right yeah, man Ace King is uh, off I mean, to the races. Andre's and... Andre is a firm believer in the Church of Ace King here. It's helped him out a lot. Goodbye, wow. Alex Sheppel. Unlucky, didn't play many hands. Picks up the jacks. Pretty easy get in spot there. Gets flopped, almost dead. And Sayonara, 191k. Alex Sheppel, he's a crusher. Got to be disappointing to win that key flip. All players guaranteed a quarter million now. As Andre. Has all the chips. Tell you what, I think that I think your bet's looking pretty good. You know, like pad, like just positionally. Now Nick's in a tough position with Andre to his left. I mean, Nick's got all the stacks to his left, all the big stacks basically. So yeah, I, I'd agree with that. Although, yeah, a lot, a lot of poker left, and and Novak was definitely a pick that could have been taken. And he is he is sitting really really powerful at twenty three million. If you're looking at Simon and my man Chana Zhao in the the. There, there. I mean, they're both pretty short, but the, the pay jumps are getting really significant. This is definitely where Novak can can lean even more so right now. Put pressure on people. You know, some of these middling stacks do not want to come get a, in a confrontation and go out when there's so much money at stake right now. But look at the aces, Kevin. We've seen aces a lot. They're getting handed out right now. I think the third time we've seen aces dealt yeah. pre-flop today. Dealers uh, handing out some premiums, no doubt about that. We see these big stacks on the right side of the table, and then the left side of the table are – People uh, clawing and scratching. We're going to see Darwin. It's really fascinating that Andre's taking these open sizes. Like, look how big that open is. It's almost full 3X. I guess it makes sense against with, like, the pads and would lie to you. Just a little surprised. But here we see Darwin. He's going to shove this in. Wow. Ace Jack. It's only 60% here. Let's see how hot Andre is running. 
pretty good start for Simon. See if we get a sweat, a little sweat, a little gutter pickup. Yeah, little eight ball. No. Straight on board, but the ace plays for Simon Matson. Gets the double up there as Mr. Zhao is hoping for the ladder. Yeah. Starts to get a little more healthy, about a 70,000 ladder. So that was one where you're puckered up. Those are one of the ones yeah. where <laughs> that was probably if we could get the cam, the, the cam, he would be he'd be yelling at the screen for that one. So uh, now he is the shortest stack by far. And Simon, a very dangerous player, Matson, known as Darwin, across many uh, – names across the site he is he's back to three million so people got to keep an eye on that 15 blinds definitely in the in the match right now darwin sitting on the sidelines just waiting to evolve into the chip leader you yeah, catch that so, you catch that reference there jeff i, I saw you did they evolved that was good kmart you're the, there's you a very tricks there's a very tricks, famous man. scientist known as darwin he created the theory of evolution i've been reading about him lately actually i've been reading about mr darwin and his uh mastery of the sciences fascinating nice. fascinating we're, we're in a fascinating world jeff poker is just a little tiny piece of this beautiful world we're in it's true but it is beautiful and it's a beautiful game and i, I think we're getting to see some real mastery today some of the best in the world doing it and i, I just that's why it's so fun you just don't know people's game plans depending yeah. on what stack you have where you're sitting who's at the table things you do also of course there's some history some of these players know each other know what they're capable of and uh, it's just always fun. Every final table is is fun to watch. Let's see how Pads does here with the sixes. Raises from the low jack. Check, check. In very bad shape versus 10-7. Don't see a lot of money going in here from either player, though. Both have, both have a hand that is, like, really content with trying to show down. But, you know, these guys have tricks. Maybe the chip leader just starts to play a little bully ball. Goes for a blockish size. Yeah. Yeah, Leonard's going to give it up. Not, not a ton of good scenarios there. He peels, whether he's ahead or not, he's going to probably face some difficult, even more difficult decisions. And, of course, when he's behind, he's got the, the pure two outs. So just doesn't, doesn't like it and moves on. And here, ace-eight suited. Uh, definitely for six and a half blinds, a good situation to get your money first in. Oh, Andre snaps it in there. What a great spot for the ace eight of spades. Wow. Some chop situations. And now actually looking for a spade. Both yeah. have a straight. Wow. That's gonna happen. So Andre will take that. Was looking bad pre. The flop was very spicy. Finds the chop. Andre's running pure in the all in so far, no doubt about it. Yes, definitely how he drew it up, and he is going to be attacking on the button, goes for a min race, and we see a very strong holding in the small blind, but really not much else to do the other than call, not looking to mm -hmm. inflate the pot, and uh, here we go, out of position and out flopped. We see all you guys on the GG YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Wow. This is one of our higher viewerships ever, combined with the good looks, the natural commentary of Jeff Gross with the inflated prize pool. If you guys can take a second, we have less than 100 likes. There's almost 2,000 people here. 86 people have hit the like button. If you guys can take two seconds, go smash that like button. That would help us out a bunch. Thank you very much. And we see a pretty decent bet here. Pot size is going like two-thirds plus uh, right in that range, 70%. And Novak going to go ahead and, and give up his queen, understanding the situation mm -hmm. and what he's up against. So well played, both players. Still has a really big, almost a one and a half times second place lead for Novak. So he's still sitting really healthy. And uh, wow, is that a, okay, just a jam there for Zal. Yeah, yeah, East King, makes sense. East King shove, rocking, yep. Dude, Jeff, I know you've been, uh, you know, you got a wonderful wife. You got a wonderful three-year-old child. You're still traveling. How, how many uh, card games have you played lately? What's What's poker been like for you recently? So I, I I enjoy PLO. Been playing bit bit of a I guess you call high stakes. The great depending. game. The great game. I love PLO. That's been my go to and my game of choice over the last uh, let's say a couple of years. Uh, cash games, getting some you know decent games and good size stakes. So it's fun. I like PLO. Gets the blood flowing and definitely some sick hands. Uh, very sick, very sick game. As we know, it is the great game. What uh, what stakes are you playing? I'm curious. Uh, so variety. I'd say like. 200, 200, 400, sort of the 
the, the main stakes, but, um, you know, anywhere from 50, 50 blinds with some, some annies to two, four, but some, you know, once the strategies get going, yeah, oh. some, some good pots, some, uh, some gray hairs coming in, Kevin. I don't know if you, you know that, but you know, it's how, it's how it goes. That's, that's just the nature of the game. Kids and kids in poker and PLL. That's, that's a good way to get, get loose hair and, and gray hair. That's so, a good mix. I love yeah. that. I love that. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully you run well. Uh, in in every PLO game, I, I, I imagine you're in some fantastic games as well, Jeff. You guys, if you guys don't know much about Jeff Gross, he is known as one of the ultimate best friends in the poker world. Very charismatic, always friendly, chatting with people. You know, uh, is friends with everybody, a- everybody in poker who's well known. Basically, you know, Jeff. Oh yeah, I know Jeff. Oh yeah, he stayed at my. Uh, he was open for Thanksgiving. That's what you're gonna get. That's what you're gonna get. I, I appreciate the kind words. I will say, so I had I saw. As well, I know Kmart. Yourself, don't don't sell yourself short. You are also known like that. I saw Ludwig give you a nice shout out. You're one of the first streamers you saw, and I got to give you a shout out as well. You, Jason Somerville, I Jamie Staples. You guys were some of the early streamers on Twitch I saw, which made me want to get into streaming, and get into Twitch. So I mean, you're one of the OGs, and I know a lot of these guys man. have a lot of a lot of kind words. So um, you know, if we're gonna butter each other up, I'll throw a little. Hey, little butter I'll take right all, back I'll take you. all the butter for sure. I need Here's it. Some butter. Uh, thanks, bro. Well, no problem. We got a we got a real hand here. Queens and Ace Deuce. See a min raise and Novak got the Ace. Got oh, that's the not a min raise. That's a chunky three Xer. Oh, sorry. You're right. You're right. Yeah, three I was gonna th- I was gonna say Ace Deuce might give action, but that three X kind of shut his opponents out. Um, takes it what down. Do you, what do you think the the logic there? Do you think it maybe try to look a little weaker, just tax a little for that one over card, just try to deny. Yeah. Uh, deny know. some equity. It's a, maybe it's that's a little bit of it. There's the 1.5 million stack. Maybe these like, I mean, let's check. Let's get some info on Spays here. Yeah, Spays. I uh, know they have experience. Two million in caches. Okay, no, they're they're no rookie. So yeah, a little bit uh, curious to see that larger size. Maybe it is a little bit of the function of the shorter stack. Andre, yeah. the chip leader, finds another nice spot. You know, every time Andre has a pair, it seems like his opponent has a worse pair. You see the Jack six in a little bit of trouble. Oh, another good card for Andre. When this card peels off, like when your opponent snap calls flop, would lie to you is not going to have a king very often. I mean, it's possible, but you can just continue seeking value versus the six X, the three X. So this is an amazing card for Andre. Yeah, this is going to make it tough to get away here. Although, you know, you start thinking about your call here, it puts about 4 million in the pot. You go to the river and you're at, you know, 12.5 and you start thinking these are very valuable chips. He does mm-hmm. decide he's too high up with his six to fold. There are a lot of draws out there. The spade does complete the, the backdoor flush draw, but you know, ultimately I think Andre is going to know kind of where he's at. It's not an easy, not an easy spot though. He's going to check over and I think would lie to you. He's going to be happy to, to see if he has the best hand and he does check back. Does not have the best it's hand not. and Andre is rolling right now. You guys. I was thinking about picking him as my horse. I did give it a little bit of thought. Oh my goodness! Well, we're on. A, we're on a forty-five minute delay. Uh, proof that neither Jeff and I, you know, cutting an angle or anything. We obviously would have taken Andre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is definitely again a lot, a lot of poker left. But it's when you get to a final table and there's so much implications on ICM. When you get that big lead, you can really you can really lean on people and we do see him not just going hundred percent, right? He does fold some of his worst hands like he did right there. Let's see what Darwin does. This is a nice candidate to shove, you know, would lie to you on the button. Hasn't been outrageously aggressive. This ace eight off ace nine off sometimes plays well as the shoves. Hey, if I'm thinking what DC Darwin is thinking, I'll take that. That's a win. Nice shove takes the chips. Seven-handed, you guys. Every player guaranteed a quarter million. You can see a massive prize pool today. GG Poker was running a special Super Millions week. We've seen an inflated prize pool. I tried to satellite into this tournament. Did not make it. Did not make it. What's the what's the best satellite route? Is it a 1K? They got 500s. I'm sure there's, there's, good. there's a there's, lot. There's 500s and one 1Ks that are both quite attractive. I have uh, played this tournament three times, I think, organically with my own money and... Uh, They've gotten me, Jeff. They've gotten me in the 10Ks so far. They're, they're not slouches up here. They're pretty good. Yeah, it just takes one. Takes one, right? One, yeah. one big bink. Tournaments. Always in play. It's such a, tournaments are so fun. And as we're seeing here, anytime you can win seven figures from the comfort of your own home is, is nice. And here we are going to see another kind of nice distribution. We're seeing some suited aces, the ace queens yeah. involved, just flatting. 
and um, see out of position to Novak, the chip leader. If you're Nick, that's not the start you want. You don't want to get flatted, especially by the chip leader, and you're actually down there, but good flop here. Top pair, top kicker. And in this spot, Andre is never going to slow. Well, I shouldn't say never, but very rarely does Andre ever have a bigger uh, slow play pair in his range. Like Jack's races as the chip leader, usually a pure three bet. So, I mean, Nick is really loving this flop. Besides like a set of sixes or maybe a very loose peel of, of pocket twos, like Nick can be very, very, very comfortable. Andre, oh, that comfort, that comfort goes down on this turn for sure. Andre's going to have a lot of king-queen suited, king-jack suited. This is a fascinating hand. It goes for a lead out right away. Maybe also realizing it just doesn't have ace-king. So it's sort of like, all right, you know, I'm going to bet this card and take control of the hand. And if you do have a hand like queen-jack suited, ace-queen suited, uh, tax you a bit. And uh, Novak does peel rather quickly. Maybe has some intentions on some rivers like a nine or a, a heart that he could get get out of line with. But as it plays, the ace 10 is the best hand on the river. Big money in the middle. Let's see what yeah, Nick big does. one for Nick. Nick is either going to block or check. I'm curious what he's going to do. Does check. I like that. You give the queen jack suited missed hearts a chance to bluff, but ace queen's a hand that's happy to check. And Nick. Nick, 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 up to that's a big pop for him. Back up to almost eleven million. Yeah, bit bit unlucky for Novak because he did make a flat. He had position. He had the best hand, and he just decided it was a little too good to to turn out the heat with that hand. He didn't want to get re raised off, and also keep in some worse hands like he did. So uh, you know, things have been going well for him. That was the first sort of hiccup, or, or it didn't go his way in a decent sized pot. Still very healthy with essentially double second place right now, Kevin. He is. All those chips gone a little bit down. Some of the other stacks have distributed, and, and he's got 2x second place, which is a very nice spot to be in. No, this is a very stimulating final table so far. Again, thank you for joining us on the GG YouTube channel. Jeff Gross, Kevin Martin bringing you this action, seven-handed. Some people are asking about the time at the final table. In case you've never seen, GG Poker does what I think is the best way to do it. They turn the clock off at the final table, and you see in the top left, every level is determined by a set number of hands which is really, 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 I think, the way to run the final table, just because you guarantee every level gets a certain amount of hands, whether somebody needs to tank in a spot. Um, so, yeah, you can see we have 14 hands left in level 15. Someone in the chat says, Jeff, what it do? Do you stream? I have my sub ready. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. Kind words. Yeah, a little bit less living in the USA. I haven't been able to in the last bit, but uh, I obviously I love streaming. I love Twitch. I love everything about poker and and doing content commentary. And, and I hope to do more in the future. Kevin, I know you're itching. You're itching. You're in your zone, man. Would you say you're in your peak in the last five, six years? Are you in your actual apex of streaming and, and content right now? Last year and a half. Last year and a half, I really uh, doubled down on my effort and built the team around me to increase my poker skill and increase my ability to produce content. I'm rolling right now, Jeff. I got some good stuff going on TikTok that's popping off there. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram as a collective whole. I've never had a more successful two months in the content world. So uh, shout out to my team. I work with multiple people. It's really hard to make content. And uh, next couple of years are going to be special is all I'm, I'm predicting. If you could buy the Kmart stock, Jeff, load up, baby. That's, uh, that's what I would say. I'd rather not bet against you. Today, we're betting against each other on a last longer. But yeah, no, I'd, I'd love a piece of the Kmart pie uh, for a for for what that price is. But look at this. We got an all in. 487. Whoop, big flop. Zow. It looks connected. There's Ooh. the seven on the turn. Still out a three or a four for the short stack. Not going to be. A seven makes two pairs. We see another elimination. Good game. Zhao came in short, got a couple ladders, you know, made some nice shoves. Did that one wild four bet that cost him a little bit. But Zhao is out for a cool quarter million. And we are down to six handed. We are down to six handed. Every player guaranteed at 321,000. This is some serious, serious USD they're playing for. As Pads is going to flat play the button. Spades with an interesting hang. Definitely going to peel. Ooh, look at this. Every player is something. Two pair for the 9-7 of spades. Andre with the gut shot and pads with the open ender as well. Yeah. This is um, 
It's just dicey, dicey here. Everyone's everyone's got a little something going on. Two pair feels good, but didn't get about a lead out of the big blind. I mean, the SPR is not a ton, right? He's got 4.4, yeah. 1.8 million. So you kind of kind of weigh all options. There are a lot of bad turn cards for your hand, but you could be in, in some a world of hurt already. Um pretty good. There's a little overall. There's a little more freedom now. You know, that short stack bus, space is now the shortest. Pads. I think pads is a hand he's gonna check back. Kind of this middling amount of equity where if you get raised, you're in a sick spot. And pads is just I can't I, I never know what pads is gonna do. I've been pretty good at predicting the other players. <laughs> My prediction with pads is always wrong. He goes for it, seizes the moment. 1.2 million. Yeah, it just ultimately says that you know what I am. I mean, I just got it. This is it. Like I was going for the check raise. I got it. There's not too many hands that have me in bad shape. It's worst case. My opponent did flop that Jack 10 straight. I still can, can boat up, but nice pickup there. And, and 7.3 million kind of puts himself well into it. It's wide open right now. And uh, your last longer Nick is now a little bit of a lead on Patrick, although they're pretty close. And um, yeah, this yeah. is nice, Kevin, when you're at a final table for big ICM, that first, the first jockeying, you kind of like do what you, you know, get the jacks, sure. the ace king. It's nice to just sort of be in it with six left and now lock up a nice 320,000. That's a, that's a huge score already. For sure. Place. When you talk about ICM, um, people are like, oh, ICM is so massive at the final four, the final three. That's where the jumps are the biggest. It's actually it's the true. opposite. It's actually the opposite. Yeah. ICM peaks at the final, like between nine and you know, eight 13. to 12 players left. Yeah. yeah. Eight to 13. That's when it's at its highest. And now when you get to the final six, it still exists as a concept, of course. But a little bit of that super sweaty pressure is taken off. You're yep. locked up 321K, feeling good. God, what's it like to lock up 321K in an online tournament? It's nice. That's a nice feeling. That is, uh, that is one. I, I don't, what's your, what's your record score online, Kevin? I don't have a 320 online. That, that does a, feel special. I have a 207. 207K is my, my record. Wow. That was recent too, right? This year or last Recent uh, December. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Very recent. And good. Nice, nice way to close out, close out the year. It's nice to, to tuck one in before, before the mm. holidays. A little extra stocking stuffers. <laughs> It's nice, very nice. Look at this, man. Pairs, king, queen, action, nice. chip leader, this yeah. Action. This is exciting. Novak, top of the range on the button, six handed. He is gonna see a Ooh. Win. Nick with the limp. Gonna face a raise, yeah. Andre gonna put some pressure on. Big isolation now nick is in the torture chamber here if you call your yeah he just he just doesn't want to deal with it he just wants to avoid the situation and, and you know that's a bit frustrating you can level yourself with this hand like that you limp king queen you're like all right novik has a chip lead he's, he's going to take some extra spots so nice discipline to kind of limp get away from it recognize what's happening and just decide that you know sometimes he's going to get bullied but ultimately he just realizes the severity of the situation and does a step out of harm's way with a modest holding. So uh, small blind, big blind, Kevin, this is something I know you it's wild. Talk yeah. about. It's a, it's a whole game in itself. I think if you're looking at ways you can really improve your game, especially in tournaments, this is such a yeah. common spot. It's so interesting. The different stack depths, the different opportunities you have and the different, you know, different plays you're able to make. So I think that's one area if you're looking to improve to try to find some literature, talk to friends about small blind, big blind. I think it'll and go it a long way. happens so often. That. If you play a full online session, like you'll just play blind on blind like dozens and dozens of times. And you have the limp check, the raise call, the limp raise call, the limp raise re like 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 there's so many iterations and and uh if you study those spots it can also make your brain uh, you know spin a little bit just because you're playing with such wide ranges and most uh players even pros are kind of just uncomfortable when you're playing like the nine six offsuit the jack four offsuit and uh yeah that's that's a if, if you're a good player and you really master blind on blind a huge 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 advantage <laughs> jeff g in the chat paulo god good to see you victor poker nicky again here with one of the uh the cleanest, the coolest, the flow show masters of the poker world. One of my favorites, Jeff Gross. Guys, if you can smash that thumbs up button, that would be appreciated. And make sure you're subbed to the GG YouTube channel as well. Amazing team that brings you consistent content here. You get all sorts of content on the GG YouTube channel. 
Super Million Show being one of the features as well. Yeah, high, produ- high, high, high production value, really, really nice. This is this is a treat to be on. I've watched many of the shows, and this is definitely exciting. And it's exciting for my pony right here, man. My horse has got a, a fortuitous situation with two players yeah. interested at coming at him. And uh, Simon really taking some time here thinking about this. Simon has one of those hands. I was going to say he's one of those hands that could be bluffed non all in, you know, in this spot from the small one, you want to three bet jacks, queens, kings, aces, ace, king suited for non all in size. And the nice bluffs that can be inserted are like a seven off, ace, eight off. And so not surprised to see Simon find this very bad timing. Now, Pads has an interesting spot. Simon's three bet in range is actually super polar here. So Paz is a hand that historically you just want to shove pre, but when you're facing these polar three betting ranges, sometimes you can do funky stuff. Wow, min four bet. Hello. Hello, Pads. That's a fun option. You know, I think people would call, shove, min four. Oh, these guys just got all the tools in the toolbox. You never know what's going to happen. That is the min, the min four bet. Look at that. Yeah, it's fun. That's just fun to watch. That's just high level. Takes it down. Top six. Oh my God. Like all those numbers look good, but the, the seven figures at the top looks like that, that double comma. Once you're, once you're talking about two commas. Oh, it's, it's yeah, that's elusive. That's an elusive club. I mean, you can, you could name a lot of greats, a lot of the best mm-hmm. to ever do it. Not a lot have seven figure scores online. It's just few and far between. You get an opportunity like this. So I, I mean, this is definitely what, a treat. You, you did you, do you have a seven figures live score? Uh, do not, I have some, some, you know, solid some juicy. Six figures, some threes, some four hundreds, but no, um, no seven figure. Like I said, that's, it's hard to get a shot at. I mean, it's just hard to yeah. actually get a shot at that. So yeah. It's Nick, coming up, gonna, Kevin. Coming up. I believe dude, Nick going to fight here. King nine going to whiff here. Andre big favorite to win this pot. Jeff, I also wanted to ask you, you know, I'm looking behind your head. You got the YouTube button behind you. Congrats on that. Is that 100K YouTube subs for you? Yes. Took, took uh, you know, it was about four or five, four and a half year grind, but did, did get that recently. So that was nice. Kind nice. Of fun, you know? yeah, Patrick says this about trophies and tournaments. It's fun to get trophies. I think you should, like, they gave full tilt those shirts all the time. Like, I think they should just send out trophies, like any tournament above X amount, because it's fun to get trophies or an award. I mean, it just is. Yeah. So it's just feel good. T-shirt, t-shirt in the mail yeah a little Until, like uh that would be very very cool yeah so nick did defend versus a c bet and has the dawn has the hand with showdown does king nine just try to check here man nick's in a torture chamber spot you know just the ultimate chip leader to his direct left turns it into a bluff wow. does this work does this shed the ace high or does andre sniff this out it's, it's so interesting because it's like situationally we've seen people play so tight to the vest here so far. And this is like, this is why you have to be in tune to every spot, every hand, every single chip and bet matters. And, and Novak really thinking here too, it just shows the level he's at. And he just knows that this is the best hand a fair amount of the time. And he's really considering this. Yeah, the size isn't too large. Andre Novak. One three all ins calls. What a beautiful river call with the ace five nice to hand. pick off Nick. Oh, that is a nice play there. Hurts me. Nick is my horse, but I gotta respect the river play. Andre with a nice little snipe there. Yeah, clean this Jeff. Is, super clean. This is clean. High level, man. Really fun to watch. All around. Andre Novak, he has two millions in caches. I'm actually not super familiar with them. Maybe we need to learn this name. They've taken this party over. I have seen him around for a while. I think he's been one of those kind of breakout online guys during sort of the call it the pandemic COVID period where he plays a lot, a lot of high stakes and, and does well. I think uh, I'm not I'm not as familiar about live, but yeah, he's definitely a crusher online. Space yeah. here opens the cutoff. Seabets flop would lie to you. Flush draw turns the wheel draw as well. Space is going to check back queen nine. Has the best of it on the river. Five deuce. You think this is the bottom of the range? You think you got to find the bluff here? It is. It is exactly that. And that's a good rule of thumb when you find bluffs to find your absolute worst hands. Um, he does have the hearts, which is the most obvious draw that misses. 
And mm-hmm. for this size in space is uh, important pot for him. You know, if you, if you call and you're yeah. wrong, you, you drop Oof. below sort of the lowest stack and look very nice. Very nice. That's a lie. He told a lie to his friend would I- lie to you. He did it right there. We just saw one staying true to his name. Big pot, big, big play there. Yeah. Nice hand. Would I lie to you? People will say, oh, Kevin, you play poker. You must be good at lying. Bluffing's lying. Like, eh, I, a bluff is like a trick. It's like a, a little, it's like a, a prank. It's not really a lie, but uh, maybe you could, you know. Let's see what uh, Pads does here in position. Peels the Jack 10, bottom pair, gut shot. Would I lie to you? Fresh off that nice bluff. Goes from no no pair to bottom bottom pair on the ace king jack. There is a club draw available now. Going to check over again, and Patrick, who was content to check back on the flop, I mean, still kind of same spot, right? Mm-hmm. He's just sort of like, all right, got some equity, drawn to the nuts still with the queen and uh, board pairs on the river. And probably see the check check. Yeah, it's pads, checks. Check, 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 check. Two million for pads. Important pots. Yes, made in ma- magic. This is a 10K buy-in. Play this tournament, 10K buy-in. I'm sure some of these players perhaps satellited, but uh, the majority bought in for 10K USD. One of the most prestigious, if not, you know, when people talk about the most prestigious, juiciest tournaments on the internet, I always think of the 10K super millions as like the premier event because you get the best in the world but you also get a lot of players that like splashing around and what is pads going to do here with ace jack off he's been very content just to flat these hands in position he continues that strategy oh this was an important one for us kevin on the bet right here this could have gone a couple different ways um pretty nice flop for patrick they're gonna gonna have his opponent now you know, he was in a world of hurt. Now he's got his opponent down to one out and he's going to check in position. Okay, Jack, Jack on the turn. Where's that last Jack? Mm. Checks it back. Would I lie to you? We're going to see a bet on this turn. Facing two checks. Ace Jack. Paz, Paz is going to bet here. 1.4 million. Now Jack's is in a world of hurt. You have this hand that has the gut shot, but you kind of feel like by checking twice, yeah, he just just gets away from a very nice fold. Would I lie to you? Very impressed with their play so far. Very, very yeah. good play. You know, I, I love, I think doing commentary, it's one of the best ways to, or, just, or I should say in general, watching streams, forget about commentary, just getting to see this is such a treat. But when you see the card sort of, uh face up right it's like kind of it's it's just different when these guys make such great plays and they don't have they can't see the whole cards it's really just impressive right i mean this is the highest level they're playing 10k buying online this is the world's best and they're playing for a huge amount of money there's a lot of pressure and again very impressed i'd say kevin is that true for yourself like most of the time you see such high some great decisions and in these spots where it's close where it's like could go one way, could go the other. They're just getting it right so frequently. And I think that's uh, that's just a testament to these guys and their ability and, and how, yeah. how great players they are. 100%. Especially in my time in like doing all these shows, I've been impressed with how many really clean folds people have made. Great players in a spot where like, oh, this is pretty far up in their range. Like they really have to get sticky in this spot and they just escape from these situations where I know that I would kind of like, in a way, like lazily kind of flick the money and, oh, I got top pair, I got to call a river or whatever. These guys yeah. just like, they escape in spots that weaker players uh, always pay off. So that's one of the main points that I've thought about. Uh, Nick was thinking about the limp shove there, but Nick has just been tortured, 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 tortured by Andre to his left and uh, just yields once again. He's still in it though. Over 20 blinds. I mean, with the twos there, you could argue just ripping it as well. I mean, the ICM, mm-hmm. it's maybe a little too much, the, the, the money and what's happening and where his stack is with the two shorter players right there. Maybe it's just, just would be too big a blunder to get called, but you know, definitely a, a consideration there. Um, Berkey in the chat says, can't the players just come to the stream and see everyone's cards? Yes, they can. We just ask them politely. We just ask them just not to do that. And it's just, just, uh, it's just, it's it's the honor Honor system. system. 
Yeah, yeah. They just agreed not to. No, we're on oh. a delay. We're on like an hour delay. <laughs> yeah, just that, that, one point one point two million live broadcast in the cards. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, not happening today. But both players with a gut shot here, and um, Spay's been getting put in some tough spots. I mean, he is. That's a huge bet. It's just got to work, right? I mean, there's really not a lot of options here. I don't think to to continue with that sizing. But again, would like would lie to you finding the bottom of his hands in spots and using it to, to really put pressure on. And I think this is going to work likely again for him, but space again, he's the wheels are spinning. These players are on a high level. He, he didn't like it. He felt like something was wrong. Maybe his opponent had some kind of draw, but you know, Kevin, it's not easy to just rip it in there with King high and calling doesn't seem like a good option. So I think ultimately the fold just, just had to be. Ship later. Finds the Jacks. Yeah, would I lie to you? One of the standouts so far. Another great bluff there with the 6-3. And here we are. I can just, this 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 next orbit or two, you can just feel some juice. This is really going to determine a lot. Would I lie to you making some nice bluffs? I always feel like when you make a good play or two, like the poker gods reward you with the premium. And look at this. Just flatting the chip leader, getting really tricky, slow playing the aces at a stack depth where I think most people three bet. It just calls and sees a nice, dry, safe board here. This is the one where no, I don't. There's so much money on the line. Like the 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 flat is so profitable. It's such a it's such a great play. But you can find yourself. I I'll, I'll admit it. It's happened to me. I'm streaming. I'm playing. There's something. I decide. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna three bet. Try to maybe get it in and cooler someone or um, just pick it up right. And like the guy is going for it. He's looking for full max. And it's actually a little bit trickier to flat when your opponent has hands such as five, seven suited because his board coverage is so wide, right? It's not like you're against ace jack off or ace king and you're just like cooling someone. Like you do run the risk of allowing a lesser hand to catch up, but he takes the chance. He picks up maybe one extra bet than if he had three bet and a nice pot up to 15.5 million. Really nice hand there. That shows you his comfortability to go for the max and, and set a trap there. Very nice plays. Ooh, tell you what, if, Patrick opens here. That could save space. He does. Okay. If if Patrick folds the queen seven, blind on blind, we could see some madness. But the fact that Patrick opens the queen seven, I think space is probably going to get away here without damage. Simon has, it's interesting. You're just like a little bit less than 20 big steep. Tough to play the non-all in three bet with the Kings, even though you kind of want to, you don't just want to like shove this hand. Let's see what the great C Darwin does here with King King. And you got to believe these players out of everyone have the most history. They play the highest stakes. They play each other. They're familiar with each other. These are guys you're talking about pocket fives, leaderboards, one and two, top five, top mm -hmm. 10 over maybe a decade. So there's some definitely like, that's the other part. Simon may play this completely differently than he would against another player. He does elect to not just rip it. Uh, as we saw him do it with the A7 off, right? He does have some, some bluffs. He does have some top of his range and he decided maybe the cutoff, he did have enough room to have some bluffs still and went with that went with the the smaller size in simon back to back pretty holdings here ace queen suited on the button but uh just going to be a raise and a takedown most likely man 1.1 million would be nice today. <laughs> an extra 1.1 million sign me up for that dude do you, do you think nice. we'll see a deal? Do you see a deal happening today? Or do you hey, I actually uh, believe that. Oh, wow. Eight, Kings, ace, queen, ace, ace. Um, I would say no, even if it was an option, but I believe it's just not an option on the Super Millions. Final oh, is that game. okay? Because of the broadcast. Yeah, I believe that's not ah, even an option. Very interesting. I didn't realize that. I even if it I, was, I think these guys just wouldn't deal very often. Yeah, true. Wow, Kings, Ace Queen suited, Aces, a nice run of cards. Flops the boat here. This is a spot where players just like dark bet range to a small size. Simon's gonna go what three hundred thousand here, three twenty. Four fourteen. What a flop. Jack, no. Jack, Jack. Pretty rare. Wow, Does get the peel from the hand that is stone dead.
Darwin. You just, you just gotta believe. How does your opponent ever have uh, have have a jack? Right? It just seems impossible, but a little scary. Although I think he still has to just bet here because he's gonna have some bluffs, so he's gonna probably bet and. Wow, he checks. So interesting. Now the question is two streets. I thought he would bet again and then maybe even decide to check the river somehow. But I guess now you just you let your opponent maybe fire some bluffs and then decide that if he checks again, uh, you can go. But I don't think you can go. I don't think it's a three street situation based on the, the dynamic. But um, some trickeration here, Kevin. What do you think? Uh, I'm a little this is a curious line. This is not a normal. It's very rare to yeah. see a three jack flop. Tell you what, these boards, yeah. Uh, ooh, the block from Andre as well. Going to be faced with Rays, of course. Yeah, I, those these trip boards are very weird, and I actually don't know what the turn is supposed to like. You know. Yeah, me too. I've never never studied the Jack 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 <laughs> board. You know, like just it's such a weird spot where your opponent has like uh, Ace High or Quads. What's Simon going to raise to here? One point four or something, or does he even can he even go? I mean, I guess the ten is a great card because it does it could hit yeah. your opponent for sure. Um, you know, you're you're just um, you're just weighing all options. Like, do you think your opponent could ever re-raise you as a bluff if you were to go big? And and would that even be a consideration? Novak would do. Um, I think that you know he does go one point six to get like one point four. Small and, and raise. Is, yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, you know, interesting. I think it makes a lot of sense. Does Andre have the hero call senses going? No. Quickly folds. Darwin putting together a nice, nice final table. I mean, they picked up three premiums in a row, but they're up to 8.5 million after rocking the short stack for a long time. Darwin, you just with a player of his caliber, like there are great players and then there are super elite. Like when you're talking about like the top, top 10 skilled players of all time, Darwin is like in that list, you know? Um, and so the other players seeing Darwin grow in power is, is not what you want. Yeah, you kind of you alluded to it earlier. You said he's sort of at the back of the pack. He got the double. He won a flip, and all of a sudden you're starting to starting to realize he's that he's yep. he's cooking with gas. He's got some yep. gas now. And barbecue uh, starts roaring, and you just never know. He can take away. He can run away with it. Flops. This is a very fascinating hand. This board is so good for Darwin. Would I lie to you? A high equity hand here, though. Just check calls. Okay, turn's going to go check, check it. We're going to have a fascinating river spot. Does At least have, I think. I've declared Jack, the check, check. But Jack, nine suited. Does have does have a key card that uh, potentially gets a little showdown. Now he does beat some hands like sevens or fives that might take might open and then just give one shot, one pump and, and slow down. So, you know, maybe this changes things that he has a bit of showdown, but uh, ultimately 2.4 in the middle. And this is different than other times we've seen him at the stone bottom of his range. He does hit a pair. So I, I don't know if he's going to go for it here. Although wow. this is absolutely insane. This is exciting. I'm just <laughs> wow. excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. That's X. A- wow. That is savage. I mean, would I lie to you, knows that Simon is not checking Jack 10 on the turn, has a hand he doesn't think is good, and just reps it. 3x pot with the bluff. This is sick. Right Now, Simon, to- Simon, there's no way Simon can call this. How could you ever call King 6 here? I'm off the stream. If Simon calls here, I'm, I'm out of the building. I'm sorry. I'm just, this would be too much. It'd be too okay. much for me to take. That would have been too much. This was, this was an exciting hand. That would have been like out of this, out of the stratosphere. Oh. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, Hit the heart. We welcome you if you're enjoying it. If you're enjoying Kevin, myself, if you're enjoying some great plays, uh, let us know where you're from, where you're watching from. I'm enjoying this. This is, I've been watching the shows. This is a treat. And that's fun, man. Kevin, I'm just like, honestly, that was fun, though. I'm fired up about that, dude. It's hitting a birdie, hitting an eagle. It's like golf gets you coming back. That is just, that was a, that was a wild deal. The 3X pot for all of it, man. I mean, come on, dude. It's class. Full sherbet mouthpiece, absolute all of it, absolutely exciting. Would, like would what sauce? Like what sauce? What skill? What heart? I mean, that just it's 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 like Steph Curry hitting the logo shot. You know, that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, in a in a big goodness. moment too. Like not like a blowout game. Like it's a it's like it's a three point game or 
You know, that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's real stuff. That's he's, he's risking. If you think about to be wrong there or to allow your opponent to make a hero call to give him to kind of give him that spot. Oh, here we go. Gonna Darwin. See step. Darwin. Ace King. Behind. The church has been Andre's hand here. Wow. Darwin chopping possibilities. Oh, needs a doctor. Huge needs spot, a doctor. Huge river needs a lot of help. And wow. It is not going to be. So the, the run comes to an end. Just like that, he was cooking, and it's all gone in an instant. See Darwin, a legend of the game. Wow, that's what he looks like? Is that his actual picture? Handsome. Looks good. It's is that – is that that looks like – can we confirm, graphics team, is that actually the C. Darwin? I did not imagine he would look like that. Uh, C. Darwin, a legend of the game, 321,000. Yeah, took the four bet shove there. He thought that he thought the the big stack bully was light, but he wasn't. Wow, Ace King is printing Andre so much money today, just crushing so hard with it. Just like um, that, it can you know. I, chat, chat is flaming Darwin. You guys just like you're so results orientated. You know, like if he shoves, he's gonna get a fold so often. Optically, it looks bad indeed, but uh, GG. GG. Andre is just a hammerlock on this tournament right now with 30 million. He was cooking Jeff until he wasn't. You know, it was, um, yeah, it was just one of those things. I think, again, if you're a player of that caliber, you come in, you're looking to win, but did was one of the short stacks with eight or nine left and to get six, still a nice payday. Uh, 320 going home. Fascinating then, dynamic here. Andre Novak. 30 million. That is a stack in the 10K. It's a bit egregious. He is uh, run away. I mean, and Mimoni, I don't know if you're kind of shying away from the fact he is sort of half stacked almost with Patrick. Patrick going to have a, a little nice, bit. nice uh, situation here, although bottom pair. Ovac does understand some of the hands Patrick could have. Ace, queen, ace, king, he's beating. Queen, king. Um this is a candidate to get funky with. You have the bottom pair. Okay, it just peels. Let's say you can kind of pressure Patrick here with the classic check raise, but just decides to call. Andre. Tanking, thinking. I mean, he has the freedom to, 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 to get wild in certain spots just because the pressure is so lead? severe. Yeah, he is. Yeah, the lead, the lead Jeff. is there. The lead. Finds wow. the lead in an unconventional spot where not many players lead. Does he just shed the nines right here? He does. Andre Novak. Wow, that is that is fun. That's fun. Check Colin leading the four, getting nines to fold. My goodness. Jeff, you, I mean, in terms of... Badass plays. You came into the right show, my friend. It's just this high level. It's just fun. I mean, I, I got my notepad on the side. I'm, I'm making some mental notes. There's definitely some some spots. The threes, I'm going to have to text Patrick afterward. Let's hopefully he has a good result. He's happy with how it all shakes out. But there's a couple couple spots I'd like to check in with no. him and see what's happening. Maybe pads will come on the show after, uh, you know, there's a chance, dude. It, you know, pads is down for content. I might I might slide him a Twitter DM and, and – Say, come on, talk to us. Yeah, drop us a, drop us a, just, yeah, that'd be, that would be a treat. He plays this, he knows the fields, he knows the format, he knows the different stages, the blind levels. That would definitely be a great, great person to have on. And uh, blind on blind, the spot we talk about today. Here it is again, it happens a lot. Space has a monster. I think we're all in. 524 blinds and pads with the big stack raises from the small blind. I'm all in with Ace Jack. It's just what you got to do. Takes it down. Our horse is bleeding a little bit here, Jeff. Yeah, we're 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 not we're not home free. There's uh, we're, I mean the, the fact of them winning now is looking definitely a little bit tough, but the the last longer very much in play, and uh, it could be one hand. I mean, your man has got what he's got. Uh, <laughs> He's, he's in he's around he's around by the way game. jeff I, i've been uh, i've been battling there is a gg account jeff gross there's a jeff gross gg account and i i have a feeling that it's not you <laughs> hold on are you, are you talking about is it gross jeff or jeff gross yeah it's like it's like it's just 
there's a, it's not your full name, but I think it's a Jay Gross on wow. GG Poker that I've been battling with. I'm like, I always I always joke about it, but uh, I'm pretty sure not it's me. not you, not, not you, me, fake not fake Jeff Gross. Yeah, I haven't played online in, in some time, but um, I get that. I do get that on a few sites. I'll see that. So it's it's um, it sounds like they're maybe not playing perfect. But listen, I'm a little rusty. It's possible if it, it's not me, but you know, I don't know if I'm going to be playing PO perfect um these days for sure so anyway these guys are these guys are playing great and we're getting a treat and we're gonna see nick here with another not fun spot in the small blind i mean those deuces kevin do you think that was do you remember the hand where he just folded i yeah. think he could have could have opened jam there but maybe could have maybe just- done something else but you know he's, he's he's chilled a little bit the shorter stacks were there but he's, he's definitely got to open it up now he's he's by far the shortest you know, every player here has locked up four hundred seventeen thousand USD. My goodness, that is a that is a conversion. Jeff, I also wanted to. Uh, I mean, let's see what Andre does here. Okay, just bucks, guys. Do you know that the first person who ever told me about Bitcoin was Jeff Gross? True story. The first time I ever heard about it, we were wow. we were dude, we were in the Bahamas. And you were going crazy about this stuff. And I'm like, what is this, dude? What is Bitcoin? And it was at three grand a pop. And you're like, dude, you are you were all in, man. You're all in. I, ho- I hope you stayed true with that conviction and you, and you profited. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a believer. I believe in the, I believe in blockchain. I believe in NFTs and, you know, it's a rabbit hole of a conversation, but yeah, I think that, um, I think it's here to stay. So I'm a, I'm a I right. You were the first ever person in 2017 that told me about it. Yeah. It's, uh, Good times. We had some good times back then, dude. Right when you know, we were just like it was me, you, Jamie Staples, Matt Staples, Bill Perkins, Tonka P was in the mix. Like it was just like a special, it's like the wild west of poker content. Now you have more people doing vlogs, you have more people doing, but like back then it was such a rare. I, I treasure those moments. They were very, very fun. That was fun. I, I we I gotta throw out the stream boat situation we see some big hands here man this is this is going to be interesting we got all kinds of options here for patrick for for space um but we, remember the hurricane we were getting ready to do a week of a stream house had the epic house of all time we're yeah, going down yeah. the caribbean and then like the hurricane of hurricanes comes in i remember you wanted to stay which would have been a really big mistake because there's yeah. like a prison break on the island <laughs> It was like months where the power was out. You would have, Bill would have had to come yeah. in and medevac you out of there. But um, anyway, yeah. So uh, that was what that I was lied to. Times. We still have a credit at that house, by the way. Maybe we could throw that in one day. Maybe we five could years later. Out. Yeah. Good times, man. Fun times. Trip Queens for would I lie to you? LaBelle in the chat says, this is a 10K or 25K? 10K. 10K buying. I think every player is going to be quite passive, except would I lie for you? We're going to see a turn bet here. 1.4 million prediction. 1.4. Ooh, not bad. Half pop. Not bad. Right in there. Little, uh, little zest on it. Ace three. Just look at, I mean, the fact that he snap folds, it just shows he knows exactly what's happening, where he's at, what the situation mm-hmm. is. He just knows. Top pair, no good. On that board, nicely done. I lied to you, raises. Okay, Nick is short. Oh, Andre. Let's say a three bet candidate. He didn't think about it, he just defended. Final five. Pads is still there, Nick is still there. But they've had a bit of a roller coaster final table. The two stars, without a doubt, have been Andre Novak and Would I Lie to You. And look at the chip leader finding the check raise here, and he's going to just destroy the second place stack. What did Andre Novak eat for breakfast this morning? Sign me up to that diet experience. My God, he's coming. He's com- he's dialed in, running well. Perfect combination. Yeah, he's really got a, a big lead here now. 30, 31 million, 15 in second, and a few of the other three stacks. I mean, if you look at the the, the difference between fifth and third, right? It's three hundred thousand roughly. Yeah. That is a that is a, no, they're really tight in there. So you know, this is a spot where Novak and uh, our friend would lie to you is they're aware. They're very aware of what's happening, and they're gonna likely be the most active here. Hands with a quick fold. There are a lot of people say, oh, defend 810. Defending ranges on final tables go down, especially in 
this situation. Would I lie to you? Just going to, yeah, it's Andre's world now. Any remotely playable hand that he picks up, he's going to be V pipping quite aggressively. It's the dream spot. The dream spot to have an overwhelming chip lead five handed. Ooh, A6, good enough for Nick here. Well, gets the walk. Would have, would have probably shoved versus a limp. How old is Jeff? I like his style. Jeff is, has a young soul. That is true. Joel, Jeff's soul is one of the youngest, most vibrant uh, of, of all the land. I enjoy I gotta, the Jeff gross energy. You guys are, it's a very friendly, very friendly chat, Kevin. You're, you got, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of butter today. I love it. You guys are very, very pleasant, very nice. It's going to be around 35 years old uh, for those that are asking. 35. Kevin, what are you, 30? 30? I'm turning 30 this year. Wow. Nice one. Milestone oh. one for sure. 3-0. Dude, 3-0. I feel Eight. like young, though, you know? feel good. Yeah. 30 is a nice you, spot to be. It's a nice spot. It's a, it's a good, that's a good age. That's a great age, actually. You're, you just got your, you got your house. You're getting married. You're, you know, you're, you're in the, you're just, life's you're, good, in your right, you're in your right spot. It's good. Life Very is, good. life is all right. I've been running okay in life. You're the, also the hottest Cal Calgary player, I think, of all time. Your record there, they should have a – is there a statue at your local, at that casino? Because your record there is so ridiculous. It, what, what would you charge markup for there? Like, is it 500%? Just, what are you charging? For, for just, a, I've had a good run in Canadian live tournaments, without a doubt. But, uh, yeah, I just uh, – it's, it's, it's a good spot, man. You know, it's like 2003. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Yeah, right. every, Jeff, Jeff always texts me. He's like, bro, how do they let you play, man? You're just like, you you know. The, uh, it's, Jeff, it's crazy. It's I watch. I keep an eye. I'm following you. I see the run. I, I get it. You got it. You got an amazing honey hole there. That's uh, that's that seems like a really cool, cool place. And look at this. Look at this. All in rip. Yeah. Now it's time. The gloves are off. These guys have gotten consolidated down to basically the same stack. And it's sort of becoming a two you know, who's going to get to win the pot Novak or yeah. would lie to you who gets to, who gets to open first, who gets to get control. Cause no one really wants to play a pot, but this, however, um, sort of just so, so, so it's such a good hand. <laughs> <laughs> gets the gif in there. Yeah. With this, what the chip distribution is so extreme here. Spades, Nick and pads. They haven't given up on winning the tournament, but like a double up for them. Isn't that valuable. Whereas Busting is like really critical. You see this sometimes where like the chip leader is so far ahead that the other stacks kind of start playing for the ladders even more than they were originally. Um, so yeah, we're just seeing Andre and would I lie to run away with this? Uh, interesting yep. to see the discipline from Novak though. Still realizing, okay, I don't get to play 100%. I also sometimes showing a fold in a spot where it looks like you can just be unlimited crazy is beneficial because mm. people are like, oh, like, how's he folding the button here? He's not playing 100%. And that maybe makes it even a little more scary for some of the players when he does come into the pot. And, you know, they, they think, oh, maybe I should take the spot. But uh, Patrick Leonard knows what to do with two tens, though, here. Still not folding this hand. Dude, tens are such an unbelievable no limit hold them hand. Like they're just, and, and visually, look at them. They're, they're two, they're, they're pillars. Too they're strong. They're they're unbelievably strong. Like tens, man. Oh, pick up two tens in a no limit hold'em game. You're laughing. It's also you block the Broadway right with against Ace King to make the straight. It does matter. Tens versus mm -hmm. tens, or you know, it's just power, Ooh. like you said. Space folds the Ace Eight suited there. A key that illustrates what we were just talking about. Space folds Ace Eight suited in a spot that reshove looks really good versus the chip leader. They're they're in lockdown. Spays, Nick, Pads. I mean, they're looking to, to... Let's see what they do with the sevens here. The GG nuts. Jeff, I know you live in America. Unfortunately, this beautiful website is not readily available to you. I have a theory. I've been playing on GG Poker for a year and a half. I've never seen a hand ever perform so well. The, the sevens on GG Poker are the GG nuts. They are unbelievable. That's. Uh, I've heard you say that. And um, yes. that is... That is, that seems to be true in this particular spot. The player does, does elect to pass and would lie to you is going to likely just uh, take this down. Does check back though. Saw what happened before when he got raised, got, got blown off here and, you know, 10 Jack 
has some showdown value in the situation with Novak going so wide. So he does check back and now decides to put out a bet and we'll pick up the pot. So a uh, nice result there. And seven's definitely had an opportunity to shove, although can't blame him for not with the, with the stack sizes and Nick being shorter as well. Here we are. Blinds are up 200 K 400 K. It is what is appearing to be somewhat of a two horse race. Don't count out pads. Don't count out these short stacks though. Raise first in from Andre call in position. Jack seven, definitely hand you want to check here. It's a way ahead, way behind and turns trips. Delicious turn card for would I lie to you? Wow. Oh, checks twice. And does Andre now rep the 10? A uh, little blockish. That's not going to work. That's going to get gobbled up pretty quickly. You know, you overbet there, 3.6 million starts to get hairy, but that size is just going to be a call. Okay. 18 million for what I lied to. Andre, what I lied to you have just put on a clinic so far. 200K, 400K. Ooh. A couple hands in the blinds facing a wide open. I'm loving this, guys. If you're liking this, Jeff Gross bringing the energy. Please drop us a thumbs up. We have so many viewers right now. This might be a record on the Super Millions. 2.5K viewers here as well. Drop us a thumbs up. We can get to 500, Jeff. We're at 377. Let's get to 500 likes in the next two minutes, chat. Help us out. I just hit the like button myself. I didn't even have it, Kevin. That just shows you. Take a second. Maybe you didn't know you didn't hit it. Give us that thumbs up if you're enjoying it. We appreciate it. This has been a treat for sure. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been a pleasure to be here and, and a lot of poker left. I mean, we're still still five-handed playing for the big lion's share of the money. So exciting times. And look at this. Look at this. The five comes out and a set of eights all of a sudden loses to a flush, loses to, there's a four line straight out there. And uh, wow, very interesting spot. This is fascinating. Seven million in the middle. Oh, if would I lie for you can find a bet here, that would be very interesting. It's just, I mean, the thing is, it looks so strong. He's in such a good position. Wow. Oh. This guy, I like this guy. This guy can play some cards, man. I mean, this is just the moxie. He the, Understanding how strong it looks, right? He's chilling in second place. It's 900,000 a second. Fit is 417. He just goes for a large size bet, a little over, what's that, like 60%, maybe more on the, on the river in a spot where if he gets called, he's going to tighten himself up. I mean, this is... This is a pair of balls. This is for sure a big boy bet, Kevin. I'm impressed. This is <laughs> this is sexy. This is this is really class. Now Andre with top set, but top set on this board four to a straight flush present as well. I mean, would I lie to you? I would think this would work most of the time, but oh, there it is. I mean, what a play! Bluffing into the chip leader there. Oh. Balls of steel. There, this guy, sick hand. That's fun. That was nasty. That's fun to watch. And uh, wow, space with the boys, the big cowboys. Gonna, just going to go dunk just, here. Yeah, slam dunk and upsetting for Novak because he's raising a, a wide variety of hands to get Queen 10 suited and get stuffed on is not what he was hoping. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, wow, he also had top set just a hand to go. If he wins that pot, let's say he even just gives up on the river, he's going to have absolute complete separation from the pack. Would lie to you, staying tough narrows the gap between first and second. Nick here. 11 bigs does decide to peel. Yeah, chat reacting in a crazy way. That was an unbelievable bluff from the ace five of hearts there. Nick's just going to fold. Nick's hurting. Nick's in the Dangerville. It's okay, though. Nine bigs at the final table. Still have fold equity. 
Yeah, Kmart, you got some positivity built in your blood too. I love how 100%. You're, you're, you're you're in less than nine blinds. Pa- Patrick's, you know, sitting nice and you're feeling good. I think, I think normally I'd say this is like, you know, a $400 buyout, but like with you, I really feel like you're in the mix. Like, I think you're alive, which is. Dude, I just, I've just gone to, if you go through the previous super million show, it's, it's really sick how bad I've ran in these, in these bets. Like, I don't think I've made bad decisions with my horses, but like, I, I think I'm one for six or something. Like I got, I've gotten smoked every week. It's been spooky. It's been spooky. <laughs> oh, wow. This is nuts. What a flop. Nick flops the flush, but Andre has the king of diamonds. Maybe this is what my horse needs. This is what, I, this is, this is the comeback. It's 100, 118 to one to flop a flush. And he did it in a big time. He gets called and going to the river. He is in a very good spot with the 10 high flush against yeah, and this have, seven have, wow. is fascinating. Nick almost has zero aces in their range. Almost all the aces are shoving pre. Maybe a couple are limp trapping. Uh, it does go check, check. Nick wow. checked the flush on the turn. Does he maybe go small here? Just try to get called or even uh, it goes, goes for like 65%, what, two thirds almost? Almost. 62, 63, and, and Novak got the key blocker here, but I don't really think he's thinking about playing it that way. I don't know if he's just going to, you know, rip it in. I don't think that makes a ton of sense as played. Let's see what he does. does wow. Well. This guy, this guy just, really just, just really finds his way around the boards. I mean, I'm a fan. This guy is uh, I mean, playing at a high just, level. Just escapes with minimal damage. That flop comes down. They could have easily gotten it in on the flop, on the turn. He could have paid there on the river. Who knows? He could have even shoved as a bluff. There was multiple roads to go down where he loses more chips. And he finds this little path on the side where he just escapes with no damage. Like, unbelievable play from Andre. Yeah, good recognition here. It would lie to you with the situation. Takes a modest hand and puts maximum pressure on Patrick Leonard. Be interesting to see how tight Patrick really is there. You know, these are spots he covers, he talks about, he, he really looks at. And you know, I think that that's also important to know if you're would lie to you, knowing that your opponent is going to make some really correctly big folds, right? If you just got random guy in there who just, you know, not necessarily, it, it, it matters. It doesn't mean people just play how the book says you're supposed to play. Right. So that, that has to factor in a bit into when you just kind of put full pressure on people and uh, good recognition there again for would lie to you. And here we go. Patrick, again, a couple of interesting Patrick. hands you could consider shoving versus the chip leader at the final table though. Oh, he does. Pads finds it. Wow. Good find from pads. That gives him like a little bit of breathing room between the two short stacks. He he can now play very comfortably and almost aim for like a top three finish where Spades and Nick. Okay, Nick, you know, offsuit aces, I talk about this, are not a fun poker hand to play. Blind on blind, 10 bigs effective. They become superstars, though. That's where they really shine. These big pre-flop blind on blind shoves. Nick picks yeah. up some chips. That spot with... Um... That spot there with fours is not easy to make. I mean, you really, you know, you got to like the guy just wakes up with ace king or has a better pair than you. And you're just on your bike talking to yourself about maybe, you know, at least 300,000 you left on the table. But to your point, though, in order to live, you must be willing to die. Patrick takes a stand, separates himself into a much more healthy position at the full score and also just to kind of survive until the top three. So so well, well done from Patrick. Good timing, good recognition and. And um, just seems to have all the right right moves to navigate through this field down to the final five. So, Jeff, tell you what, I mean, you've said you haven't been playing very much no limit hold them. You you still sound sharp. You know, I I didn't know what kind of thought process you would bring. You still got it. It's like riding a bike, you know. It is. Still- I, I I I appreciate that. And also, again, it's nice. I got to do some commentary recently in Triton and Cyprus, so I was watching some of the highest level play as well on the on the live street so you know i got a i got a quick uh crash course again recently doing some fun commentary but yeah this is i also watch i do watch this show i do pop in and check you out check out the show and the guests and i'm i know i'm not just like oblivious to the game kevin i mean don't don't no, write dude, me off i'm, I'm just saying i'm saying you know it's like uh mj comes back from playing baseball and he wins three more championships like he's still he's still locked and loaded this is fascinating would I lie to you just flat at the small blind pre? Doesn't want to 
playing unnecessarily big pot. Flop goes check, check. Now Andre with the queen jack. Oh, that is the king high straight flush. <laughs> Can we take a timeout? There was a straight flush for his top trips here. I mean, this is what is going on. And actually, though, is he he's gonna check? He's gonna check back top trips. I mean, and and what I mean, I guess he's not gonna raise though, of course, but this is a sick hand. We just see a straight flush by the chip leaders in a $1.1 million tournament, five left. This is fascinating spot. The, the, wow. The king high straight flush. There's only one hand better. That's the Royal. Unbelievable here. Andre. I mean, Ace oh. King shrivels up massively on this river. Yeah, Ace King's just going to muck. Sick. I, well, I yeah, assume. he's got the nuts. There's no Royal because he's blocking it. This is the, the second best hand ranking in the whole entire game. You're getting to see it. It's a treat. The pretty, pretty straight flush. What a hand here. And would, would, would lie to you. Definitely 10 of diamonds in the bottom yeah. 1% and just going to get away from it. But wow. Oh. Wow, what a what a card! A straight flush, what a hand there! Hey, Andre, that's good for Andre. Get some separation between him and Would I Lie for you? Now, what does Spades do here with the Ace Three? You can even you can you can just dunk these hands versus the chip leader or call, but then you call, you just face a bad board. Nick Spades on the short stack. We're here live in person, May the 3rd, 2022. Jeff Gross in the building. My name is Kevin Martin. And we're seeing some crazy high-level action on the best final table in the internet. This is it's the best tournament in the internet, is this tournament. I don't I think don't, it's close. What else I don't think gonna, there's a debate. What are we debating about? Where else do you go from here? There's you know, there's some it. good ones, but uh week in, week best. out. That's another thing. This is like boom, boom. You know it's here. It's high level, mm -hmm. the best names, best prizes, best software. It's a, it's a crush. It's an absolute crush. When I think about the poker world and being able to climb the mountain, you know, there's different, like, I feel like there's different, like, bosses. You know, there's, like, you know, Garrett Adelstein going to play live cash games, 300K deep with Garrett. And when you think about online MTT poker, this is, this is the tournament on top of the mountain. If you get to this final table, you take this thing down, whew, you've done something seriously special. Yeah, this is this is one you this is one you uh, you get to talk about at at, at a, with family and yeah. friends for a while. Yeah, this is one you can put on the man. You know your uncle that you know doesn't support your poker career. Even he would be impressed if you can if you show him a, a super millions win. Yes. Uh, and Andre, your your guy could be at risk here. This is how many chips King eight off. It's like kind of right on the cutoff. He realizes it could be the best hand. He's going to be behind still a lot, but I think Nick also he realizes is going to be shoving a little wider than most in this spot, maybe a little more willing to go for it. Although we saw him just open muck deuces and yeah. in a, a different situation though, much less, this was much more blinds. This is much more of a critical time in the tournament, but I think ultimately he's going to make the call here. What do you think? You think so? No, I was going to say fold. It's just, it's a spot where Nick should be shoving a little tighter because of ICM and that should make Andre's yeah, range get... a little tighter. And also the presence of Nick being a short sack is not bad for the chip lead. Like Andre or, you know, Paz is in the torture chamber. Like the, the chip leader isn't really incentivized to bust the short stack there. So I think yeah, King, 10, King 10 off I, is the bottom problem. I, I agree with everything you said, except not incentivized to bust the short stack because there's literally a duplicate stack that's short. So mm. he's not really losing that part of that, but you're right. And ultimately he did fold. So, um, you know, whatever. You're, Novak, you're, you, you got it right. You've gotten some sizing spot on. You got a couple of close ones. I mean, this is a, it's a game of inches, but it matters. Those decisions matter. For sure. The future game matters. And uh, Novak's going to keep his chip lead and, and utilize his chips in a different way. Generally, you don't okay. want to call off, right? That's the thing. You want to be making aggressive moves yeah. in general. That's a good rule of thumb as well. Pads with the potential uh, Dunkarino here could consider it. It's scary with the shorter stacks. You just know, like, Button's going to open, like, 80% of hands here. These suited kings. The suited kings, Jeff. No, he just folds. I had uh, the, you know, the first lesson, one of my main leaks, I, you know, my, my coach told me, Kmart. The good players, they love the suited kings. You got to play the suited kings. It's it's the new sexy hand. It's like ace five suited five years ago is the sexy hand. King nine, king eight, king seven now suited. Apparently it's all the rage. Oh, a chance for Nick. This is my horse here. Let's go. 
Hold it, dealer. King Jack. Oh, he goes with the gift. He goes goes with the office gift. The Dwight Schrute. That's strong. Needing to dodge it. Fade it. Oh! Oh! Not like that. It's tough, Kevin. When you're really running, when you're running tough, you're running tough. One out left in the deck. That's going to wrap it up. I'll send you, I don't know if you're a Venmo guy, uh, PayPal, BTC. I take anything available. We could keep another bet going, but that is a tough way to go. And a great guy, Nick. I, I don't want to celebrate anyone getting knocked out. I'm happy to win 500 in a, a big ICM spot. Kevin, take your time. Shake it off. We still got a final table to do. Uh, there's a lot left. Four, four remain and a great showing from FU15, who I got to say, I've known since my beginning of my poker career, and he's been crushing the game at the highest level for a decade and a half, at least, maybe more. So, Nick, great score. Unlucky in the end, but a really nice payday for you, my friend. And, um um, again, I, I hate to root against you, but in the, in the, in the, you know, personally, I had a little bet against you. But K- Kmart, shake it off. Four left, lock in. Big, big money up top. <laughs> I, just, I, need, I need to compose myself, man. How do I run like this on this show, bro? It's unbelievable, man. I get punished every week. It's sick, dude. It's so sick. <laughs> All right. So th- this is so at minimum, I owe you 500 bucks. But if Pad ships it, I owe you a K. So I still got to sweat. Oh, my God. Yeah. <sighs> it's Kmart. It's all, all right. right. 20, I'm, I shake it off. Shake it. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a very bad bit. But, you know, I only lost 500. For Nick, he lost hundreds of thousands of equity there. Good game to Nick. Repping Canada strong. Now, all these players. All right, I'm back. I just needed to mourn my loss there for a second. Uh, all these players guaranteed half a million. Half a million. And you see, would I lie for you is our new chip leader. It does feel like it does feel like we're on our way to a heads up showdown between Andre and would I lie for you. That's what the sense has been the last 20 to 30 minutes here. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, But there's still still a lot to play for a lot left. A lot of things can happen. And um, let's see, Patrick going to turn top pair, takes it down. So yeah, a lot, a lot of game left. And I mean, just sort of quietly, what I lie to you is taking the chip lead at yeah. 29 million to 26 million. So he is now, um, you know, essentially they're effectively the same. They're both very healthy and they both got some hearts here. Let's see if Novak's going to peel and, uh, Ooh, see two the pair, two pair flop. So small bet third, 750,000. 622 quarter pot take it down two shorties two two big stacks yeah and for patrick he is he does actually you know seven to 4.5 is a fairly big difference and we're talking mm-hmm. about 160 thousand difference but ace jack off one of those hands forehanded um just uh definitely too good to not play he does just essentially go all in there Mm-hmm. puts it at 3 million and take it down that's the meta with the bosses now you put in half your stack and then if you see like consecutive all-ins you can actually fold apparently there's a small edge i asked my guys i was like should i be doing that and they're like yeah they're like more, more, more often than not people who try to apply that are just going to mess it up and like <laughs> yeah all right space would i lie to 50 50 here we are big flip big patrick flip. very interested to the river he picks up some broadway outs the space looking peel. for the oh that looks acy that looks like oh, an ace wow it is an ace ace a club on the river and that is a big pot 9.6 million keeps us four-handed and uh wow just 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 anyone's game kevin it's never pads over. hates that pads could have had a 160k ladder there space Doing his thing, doubles up with that river card. Would I lie for you? Gonna take it in stride, win the next pot, still the chip later. Oh, a couple of ladies. These guys are playing fast today. I mean, they've taken their time in post flop decisions, but a nice quick pace of play. Much appreciated Kevin, from us. Kevin, I wanted to ask you this because GG mm-hmm. with this final table um, time bank, which I agree, I think it's the best way to do it. How yeah. does that work if you're streaming? Do you have, do you ever go to Fountain Table? Do you reset in and because uh, I know we talked about the honor system yeah. earlier. I don't know if you know that's hard to rely on fully and, and it's for it's everyone, uh, so. it's torture for streamers. It's good for everybody. It's it's torture for streamers because we run like a six minute delay. 
Uh, I've only had to shut down my stream a couple of times. What I have to do is I consciously run a timer when I'm on final tables. And if it ever gets close, I have to abandon the stream. But for the most part, like 99% of people are cool and they don't try to snipe or whatever. But it ha- it is consciously a thing you have to think about for sure. Um, but you don't, yeah. so if you hit a final table, you don't reset your stream and put no, a longer delay. No, you just, you just no. keep the momentum and for the better, good of the stream and the game, yeah. you just run it. I have a time every time my hand shows, I have a timer that starts. And then so I'm consciously aware, which is not ideal when you're trying to focus on the final table, but uh, I, you know, it's tough for streamers on, on with the chess clock. For sure. Makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, I do like how it is though. The, t- the chess clock, the hands, like it's all really, really, really uh, well done. So Jeff, man, we need we need you back, dude. We need you back streaming. We need you back with the energy. Some of the best clips of all time, dude. With, uh, with you and your and your back brace, your fanny pack. I don't know. I, you had some great stream moments. I've, I've had it definitely been some fun. I will say again with the three year old, I'm not going to just cop on that, but it's a little harder to go stream out of a Airbnb or a hotel <laughs> with a suitcase. I'll tell you what. If you could have seen the situations I've been in, like internet. Uh, in Brazil, random countries with my little suitcase wheeling around, going to people's homes, like friends of friends, trying to get off the ground. I was in local Comcast in Brazil and like small towns uh, ultimately gets paid off here at King three. Nice, nice bet there from Novak and, and would lie to you maybe one of his first missteps there, yeah. but uh, can't blame him for calling. He's got Queens and he knows his opponent's capable. But anyway, just say, I think I've operated about 40% ability um over the years in streaming i love it hope to be back but i appreciate it i miss it i love it i honestly i love streaming i love twitch i love youtube i love content and uh happy to be here again well when your child uh when your children graduate in the year 2040 we'll have you back bro we'll have you back back. with open arms i'm back i'm ready to rock kevin don't worry i'm back i'm just taking you know sometimes you gotta take a breather put your gas nest on get acclimated uh, transition and then we're uh, we're ready to roll and look at this queen seven laying down the hammer on patrick leonard um he is the shortest stack at this point by 2x so he's not going to be making superhero folds there but still he's not going to want to call it off just flick it in with the the queen three suited by any means so um patrick leonard now ladies and gentlemen on the short stack Sick. operating for this Ooh, small raise for a sin this is cool i like this Four hundred and forty thousand guaranteed. Let's get the peel. Ooh, pads is ready to rock. Four million behind. Two point seven in the middle. God, that double comma for first place. I've been staring at it in the bottom right. The double comma. I mean, <laughs> I could cry, bro. The fucking second comma. <laughs> the first comma, and you're dealing with one comma. You're you're dealing with like is, uh, that second comma though, man. Oh. That means seven figures, ladies and gentlemen. In case we're rusty on our grade three math, that means seven figures for first. Yeah, it's uh, it's big boy money. And here, another big matchup with hands. This would get in in a lot of this the the matchups other than one, two. These guys you know, don't want to just put in a zillion blinds, even though these are very strong hands for, for um, four-handed. Although, see a limp, we're going to see a raise. And then, I guess, with eights, it's... Uh, just deep enough and the other two stacks short enough where you're just going to call. But Yeah. The praise call. These two players with the big stacks, there's kind of like when ICM exists, there's kind of a mutual understanding between the big stacks. It's like a cold war. Nobody needs – you don't need to launch nukes at each other, basically. <laughs> like it's not going to – you know, if they play a crazy pot and get it all in, it kind of like takes the equity from them too and disperses it to the table. So you see more chill lines, more passive lines post than, uh, than you normally do. Yeah. Ooh, would I lie for you? Again, these two have been trading uh, haymakers back and forth. Andre and would I lie to you? Yeah, he's got a... <laughs> I just got to laugh at this person in the chat. Somebody in the chat whose name is only gameplay, no commentary <laughs> is getting mad at us for not talking about the gameplay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's funny. Strong. That's that strong. Funny. I like that. I respect that. That's good stuff. That's good. That's Pots good on the river. Now, Andre. Yeah. A hero call here would be bad timing. Going through the hand, thinking about it. 
isn't it so it's interesting how tournaments shake out too depending how the chips break can really the, the over under on how long it can take and how it breaks out if stacks even out it can go a long time if one or two mm -hmm. guys you know get 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 a hold of the lead they can just kind of bully the table so it's it's fun it's why it's like it's the same game but it's depending who gets the chips and what spots and what positions the Ooh. game's always different look at that hero call would i lie to you gonna gonna capitalize here a hero call from andre we haven't seen many missteps maybe that's one there and that's big time for what I lied to. Back to Dave traded big pots back and forth. That's a that's a a nice value bet. Nice river, first of all, hit his six outer and got the max value there. Yeah, Here so we are. Patrick gonna gonna peel a king three suited, realizing he could just have the best hand a lot of the time as he does. Goes check check on the flop. Neither player with the pair. It's hard to make a pair and no limit hold them. Just really hard. And now uh, go to the river. King high is in the lead. See if he's going to get to realize his equity here. Showdown. Vivek in the chat says, how do you play these games? Intra easy. Go to GG Poker. Download the, download the client. Deposit some money. This one's a particularly big one. This is 10,000 USD to play this one. Tons of tons of games on GG Poker. Cash games, five dollar tournaments, ten dollar satellites. You can you can do anything there, man. I went exploring on the GG Poker client the other day. There's some. I was playing this wheel game. I was playing these game shows. I was there's there's many unlimited gambling options on the GG Poker client. Um. One thing, one takeaway is Patrick on the short stack showing some you know, interesting sizings and maneuvering, and he just kind of ran into it there. It's going to work a fair amount of the time. He doesn't get it. And here we go. Ace 10 off yeah. of what's this? Nine blinds. This got to slam be going this. In. Yeah, definitely going to go in. This and then is Fours stock. is not going to love it, but they're probably going to call it off with only. Yeah, here, here's the shove. All right, what I lied to, I think they're like, eh, you know, you're probably close to flipping at best, but going to put it in. Pads just isn't deep enough. Pads at 13 blinds, I think we're finding folds, but he is nine. Yeah, he's got a call. There's the extra million in the middle with the, the small blind, big blinds, and he's calling. The thing is, though, he does have, it's, it's, it's actually, what, he's shoving, it says 3.4, but there's an extra 1.2 behind. So you do see him not snap call, but I do think it's just... Um, I don't really see a scenario where he can fold here, but it's close. You're right. Yeah, Maybe 13. It's uncomfortable. Maybe him having the short stack alive is fine as the chip leader. Maybe he's thinking about that. Just crunching the numbers. You have the, you know, you have the blinds dead. Again, I think if pads had 12, 13 were escaping, but nine. Would I lie Mind to you? Not even escaping because it's like, you know, you have the best hand a lot, yeah. enough of the time, like here, but you're right. You, the thing is, he realizes he's going to get to pick up so many pots without going to showdown. So it's like, all right, it's like 4 million more here all of a sudden. So he's at, let's say, 24, 5 is. million. So if we ultimately see it 26 million, no matter Big what, but flip. 10 mil to take control of this. And there is a set on the flop. Needs runner, runner. Not going to be yeah. the ace. That is GG for Mr. Leonard. What a player. What a showing. Nice score again, but going to go out with 540000 for his efforts. So another the dude nice. prints money in the online poker world. There he is. Pads also a very entertaining follow on Instagram, Twitter. He is, he blends into the content world as well. He makes a bunch of awesome stuff. Good game to pads. Always a pleasure to watch you play. And uh, I, I, w I was wishing you much pain today though, pads, because Jeff picked him, you know, you know, as <laughs> I wanted pads to lose every hand, but I mean, I owe you 500 bucks, Jeff. I don't have to send you a thousand. I do owe you 500. Thank you. My, my weekly there. tax, my weekly tax by hosting the super billion show. <laughs> Just uh, right. too, too fun. Whoa. Here is a spot with pressure being applied 2.4, 2.3 million basically pot on the turn and space just calls Ooh. and wow look at this as you follow through would not work space rivers a set front door flush comes in he does follow through gets snapped and that evens things out my goodness wow Big that is 20 million a piece now 
It was looking like Andre versus Would I Lie To was on their way to a heads up match, but that single hand changes everything. Wow. Chat saying GG. Good game. Yeah, the pads, was... a legend. He's gone. We're three handed. We are three handed. Yep. This is uh this is it. This is seven hundred thousand locked up. Let's take a moment to celebrate that for these players. But they got their eye on that one point one seven nine, that rare unicorn club seven figure score available. They are going to be playing out two hundred thousand pay jump right now, two hundred eight thousand, and then of course the one point one seven nine million. That's just that's just so ridiculous. And a ten k buy in, so many buy ins. Um, maybe some satellite winners in here as well. Some of these guys that buy in direct still satellite because there's a lot of value in satellite tournaments. So I'm not sure particularly if any of these were, were a satellite winner or not. I think Novak definitely plays the bigger buy-ins on a regular, but um, very, very, very big score now. Locked yeah, up for these Spades players. came in today as one of the shorter stacks. They came in with 26 bigs in seventh place. What a showing from them. Would I lie to you as the chip leader? They've had a good showing. And then Andre Novak came in in fourth position. Yeah, our two horses didn't do overall. I mean, they had a great score locked up, but we chose those guys one and two, and they end up going to home in fourth and fifth. Good game yeah. to those guys. Hands level. The level is over. Two hands, and we're going to play some three-handed poker. Ace queen, a six, blind on blind. Sometimes when you get three-handed, the action can slow down, play some smaller pots, but just depends on how how hard these players are going to go. Chat, who do you got? Put it in the chat. Three players remain. If you had to make a bet, who are you picking on between Spays, Andre Novak, and would I lie to you? Yeah. Who do you got? Who's your horse? Jeff, we can repick. Do you want to repick horses? <laughs> I I kind of I kind I kind of like seeing you stuck. Uh, for, but I, but you're my guy. Whatever you want. If you want to gamble more, maybe we should do a thousand just so you can have a chance to win. If you want to do five hundred, Kevin, I'm your Huckleberry. Okay, I'm, whatever you I'm want to do. I'll go. Uh, I'll go black on this flop. Black. How much black. are we playing for? A K bomb. Give me a chance. A thousand. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Okay. 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 I, I, I'm going black on this flop. Okay. And we're going to repick. Give me a chance. I need to win one of these bets. Chat's coming right. in with their predictions. Pretty even. Most people say Novak. Oh. Kevin, I kind of, I mean, that's. I, I'm happy to gamble. I just, I kind of had a thing locked up and now, oh my goodness. Oh, they get it in. Okay. Well, this we is might crazy. not be able to. Spays on the verge of 40 million if they can fade. This is nuts. Big river. It's paint. It's paint. It's a queen. Oh. And wow. Spays has 40 million chips. Wow. Hold on, what was the flop? Is that it? Are we doing it? No. Is it bet off? Well, it's off. Bet's no. off. Bet's off. Bet's right. off. I'm stuck, right. City. I'll send you money. All right, fair enough. Novak to stay alive gets it in dominated. That was nuts. Wow. I mean, that was crazy. That was really oh the J on the turn keeps him alive. Potentially river. Wow. It starts with one, Kevin. He's not out. It's not over four million, forty million, twenty-five. And that is a big J ball there. Keeps him in the mix. Not not over yet, Kevin. Four Dude, I can't so. believe it went limp, raise, shove. Like, I didn't expect them to get it in there. Andre won a couple big flips with Ace King. That was the biggest. 40 million. Holy moly. Wow. Andre Novak, not out. They double. Now Spay's going to be putting pressure on would I lie to you with Novak being super short there. Oh, look at, look at this. Got it. Come back, train. Going to get it in good. It's going to be a shove and a call. And we're going to, you know, all of a sudden you could have eight million. Got a, got the favorite. He's 10 ahead. Oh, Ooh, that's a great a, flop. Great flop. Yep. Just a, oh, a four. A queen now will work. 
No. Novak back to 8.3. My goodness. Not done yet. The flop was red for what it's worth, Kmart. The chat's letting us know. So you're just, you're picking wrong flops. You're picking wrong ponies. <laughs> I mean, we could just start, we could just start betting. <laughs> we could just start betting flops for, for, for whatever. Um, yeah, $200,000 flip that was, I mean, at least potentially a lot of ICM, but it's not a lot of value, I should say. A lot of, a lot of money in that in that run out, although it's not over. And back to $8 million. Novak looking, looking comfortable again. Got some maneuverability. Over 10 bigs, Kevin. What's that? 12 bigs? 12 bigs is powerful. I mean, that flip just came out of nowhere for 40 million. It's a great spot for would I lie to you. The two other stacks just completely like fired off at each other. Yeah. Ooh, a couple uh, A6 suited, gonna shove. Gonna pick this one up. Andre, Andre! And it was down to three bigs, hit that jack and you know, who knows? Could be live to win this whole thing. Well, I mean, definitely live. Could be a ooh, limp there. That's interesting. Wow. wow. Top two versus open ender. Some money could go in here. Andre with the king of spades as well. I see. Got to believe it. Pretty dry board. I, I got to believe. Uh, looks like a good spot to check raise. I mean, he's got he's got just a call. Oh, there. oh my goodness. <laughs> You Some like these... a call, a call there on that with that draw heavy board. I guess you're super trapping, but like, I don't know. It's a lot of draws. I would have check raised. Yeah, me too. Makes me wonder. Now Andre could very easily double here, and is likely to find the double. There it is. Well, got to fade a jack or a ten for eighteen million. A jack or a ten. Oh, it's a Ooh. queen. Andre Novak was down to 1.7 million, three blinds, and they instantly spin it to 18 million. <laughs> like, wow. what a spin up in, in uh, an orbit and a half. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is just incredible. It's just, I mean, it's literally incredible. That's a that is a wild spin up. This I mean, talk Unbelievable. about it. Unbelievable. It's like really shows you it's never over till it's over. Talk about a chip in a chariot. A little yeah. more than that, but you know, I got it in got it in decent spots too. Like a, a short stack and most of them. I guess the first one he did get it in in a bad spot, but uh, but yeah, wow. Thirty bigs now. Will players play the board here? Andre bluffing. Plays the board. What I lied to you think about calling. Calling for a chop is always sketchy. Yeah, it's not how sometimes, you wanna... sometimes you gotta do it, but it makes you it makes you queasy in your stomach. And there you go. Andre wins another pot. Oh my god. It's we're back. It's like that never it's like that flip never happened. We're all back to 20 million apiece. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty crazy. Couple moments we've gotten to see here. Oh, uh, this is wet. A six top pair nut flush draw. Andre with middle pair open ended straight draw. Yeah, everyone's got a little something here. This is uh. Oh, the spade connects on the river. Queen Jack was already already Chats. behind, but the the, the ace Jack. What's chat? What are they? At? Let's see what's going. On. What's chat they want? chat they want wants blood? us to chat wants us to gamble more. I think I you know I, I think Jeff wants to book a win. Which, which no, I honestly yeah. don't. I really don't. I don't care. We can bet. I really don't. I don't care about booking a win, Kevin. I just feel like you know. I don't. I you you do a great job. You're on the show. Every time I feel like if you're, you're losing money when we're betting, you're not running hot. I'm not looking to pick you off. I'm not looking to hurt you. I'm just saying I'm available. I'm open for any action. I want to make that very That's the best. You're, 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 putting, the, you're putting the ball in my court, which I appreciate. 100%. That's very nice I'm, of you. hundred percent. I'm going to put you on an island and make you make a choice. I'm just telling you, I'm available. I'm available and willing and able to 
the fire, whatever you'd like to do. So let, let's I don't. Uh, I, don't I just don't feel. I just feel. I, I feel like I can't win. You know, when you're running bad on the Super Villain show, and you just you're in a little rut. No, it's a big I, lesson. I, it's a big lesson in poker. You got to know when to press. You got to know and never walk away from a heater. And sometimes you got to just take a take a regroup. You you okay. did put action down. It's not like you didn't bet. Like you're betting. Yeah. So you did bet today. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away a loser. I'm gonna take the L. I'm gonna take the loss. Uh, my record, I think, is wow. This is fascinating. Raise three bet. Yeah. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away, Jeff. I owe you five hundred dollars, which you know. It's just I'm a little spooked with how you go one for seven on prop bets. You know, like am I making bad picks? Oh, this is nasty. Wow. Raise wow. three bet top pair middle set. Wow. SP, they both have 21 million. I mean, this is SPR of one half, or I'm sorry, two X the pot. And he oh. goes for a big sizing. I don't really see a path path away i mean if you're what i lie to you you're just thinking about vegas the mirage here you've got middle set in a three bet pot heads up and very wet board now all of a sudden very wet two flush draws there's straights galore out here and i think if you're king 10 you're just repotle shipping tacos wow Chipotle, there it is tacos and dead. Burritos, it's all in he is gonna get in and see stone a... dead the guy was just in the chip lead. Novak had two million, and just like that, it is out. Third place. What an emotional roller coaster wow. for our friend Space here. I mean, talk about things just escalating quickly. That was a lot. And these two players are guaranteed nine hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Space, congratulations, came in, amazing showing. Gets seven hundred k, but that hurts. They were three-handed with the chip lead. Novak had two bigs, and they get third place. That is going to sting a little bit. Uh, they are going to, well, 700K will, will heal that wound pretty quickly, I think. Spays, good game. Very impressive showing. As uh, we are heads up, Jeff. We're heads up. Andre Novak versus Would I Lie to You. Would I Lie to You, three-to-one chip lead. Both players guaranteed 900K in this super special Super Million show. But they're playing a massive heads-up match of $270,000. Oh, my goodness. I can't – I'm just digesting that, how Spays doesn't – how Spays gets third place there is, like, beyond comprehension. It really shows you it's never over till it's over. And that, that, I mean, I don't know, like that's a bit of a cooler. He takes an aggressive line with King 10, three bets, gets flatted, gets a tough spot there. But, you know, obviously, again, Novak, too, kind of spun it up from nowhere. You just don't even, when you have 40 million and that's the situation, you don't even really think that that's possible. But yeah. obviously, anything can happen. Here we are, heads up. Heads up. One versus one, a different form of poker. I love me some heads up. Andre's going to fight. Has a bit of a hill to climb here. Line's going up in two hands. Chat saying, I wish I had 900K. We all do. We all do. Not too many people would pass on an extra 900K. Yeah, so a big heads up match all of a sudden. You're talking about buy-ins. That's what you want to look at when you're playing heads up. Of course, it's a lot of money, but a lot of buy-ins. You know, this is a big difference here. We got 270,000. Premium heads up hands here. Ooh, this is nasty. Heads up. Both of these have very high hand strengths. Would I lie for you? I think after you're going to go for two streets of value, right? It's been would I lie for you style to go big on these turns, like 2.4 million. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, these sizes though. Kmart, get in there today. I hope the day's not over for you. I hope you're playing streaming later today. You feel, I feel like you've been really, like, you've been surgical with your guesses. And here we go. 7.2 in the middle. Victory in reach. I mean, this is, uh, this is a spot. Let's see what he does. See what he does. He doesn't. Uh, Good does shot. Wow. Enchilada. Shoves. Goes for it. No Can back. Andre escape after checking back flop? Snap folds. And I mean snap folds. Is that real time? Because that's real wild. This guy, he's done it multiple times. I mean, he is really, these guys are both, they've, I, I've been so impressed yeah. with, the, with the style of play. Just the decision-making, they're, they're spot on, really strong.
I mean, to snap fold the king there is like super class. Unbelievable. Gives himself a fighting chance here. Five to one dog. Jeff, I am not playing poker later today, but I am playing volleyball. Okay. I am got back into competitive volleyball lately, and I've been enjoying it. Very nice. That's, uh, that's a good exercise. That does sound fun. Team, is this like... Uh, team, team indoor on? volleyball, six players, positional play, trying to win. Yes, very fun. Very looking forward to it. Very nice. That's exciting. This is also exciting. Two big hands. We're going to see both Ooh. players connecting with this board. Ace-8 suited has a pretty big hammer lock on the hand at the moment. And uh, Queen-Jack thinking about what to do here. Let's go for big, big bet. This is bad timing for what I lied to you. His hand is almost dead. Ooh, rivers two pair. I think Queen Jack gonna check here. Right? I guess though, did he not raise preflop? Maybe he's thinking he never has an ace. Uh, I didn't. I, I try to think what happened. Was it a raise and a call? So this actually I just think he has the best hand. That's goes for a thin value bet and bad timing there, and we're back to even. Wow. Someone in chat says, isn't volleyball a women's game? Bro, <laughs> no, no sport is owned by a gender. <laughs> Come on, man. 2022 here. Let's get with the program. Great sport. Great sport. Great exercise. Wow. So Ace Jack has the best hand here sometimes has the key blocker the board's paired so uh trips very strong hand and let's see how what i lied to you is going to proceed straights are there flushes are there it goes for a big bet and ace jack off interesting very interesting spot just gives it up and just doesn't make any missteps man would i lie for you like chip bleed, but Andre's heads up game. Oh, this is it. I mean, this, oh, what, what this a cooler. What a setup. One. This is insane. Both tier one hands. Like, here we go. Man, this is just, this is going to come down to a good old flash and flip. What a spot, Kevin. Ace King suited church versus the ladies. I mean, these aren't even real heads up hands. And here we go 54 million in the middle. Ace or King to win the super millions. Not looking good. Andre Novak, 90%. River card. Oh, oh the king of diamond. spades. Couldn't be a diamond either, Acer King. And just like that, 1.179 million going over, man. Both those players played so well. Huge congratulations. Kevin, wow. T talk me wow. through it. That was, that was wow. That is a I wow mean, finish. Some Woo. amazing play. And sometimes in No Limit Hold'em, you both have a premium. The money goes in, and it all came down to that flip. 90% equity for the Queens there with the diamond and the dealer, the GG poker dealer, who's dishing out some heat all day, finds the king of spades, and that's it. Title, would I lie to you? An unbelievable showing. The two superstars from this final table were definitely would I lie to and Andre Novak. Wow, 1.179 million and 900K. Jeff Gross, that was a special, special, special final table there. Oh my goodness, what action, what skill, what 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 pizzazz. That was, uh, take a deep breath, that was special. It, you know, it kicked off right from the start. We saw Novak with the ace nine off, three bet versus Simon Matson, set the tone, followed through with the big bluff on the river. I think we knew we were in store for some high octane, big action, people going for it, huge bluffs, huge coolers. We had it all today, that was, that was a real treat. I appreciate you having me here. And, uh, GG, world class stuff. That was that was really fun to watch. It was very fun. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. Before you go, hit the thumbs up button. Sub to the GG YouTube channel, especially smash that thumbs up button. I think we had a viewer record today with Jeff Gross in this special Super Millions final table. Oh my goodness, it was a lot of fun. Going forward next week, I think Jeff is driving the bus a little bit here going forward. Potentially, we're going to see more of Jeff Gross in the future. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Exciting stuff. GG Poker has a big series coming up. More details coming up on that later as well. Uh, it's just an exciting time in the poker world. Jeff, 
you know, life is good. I'm glad we got to spend some time together today. Old friends rekindling here. It's been too long. You look great. Your strategy was great. It's just a wonderful show. Cheers, man. Appreciate it. Right back at you. Always fun to catch up. Enjoyed it. This was this was top stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be back very soon and do more of this. This is a real treat. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Yes. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe going forward. Jeff, people can find you on Twitter, Instagram, Jeff Gross Poker. Search it up. Hit them on the socials. Meanwhile, I feel like uh, my stuff is on a very exciting trajectory. Uh, I just had a huge month in April and all content platforms. So make sure you follow me as well. Follow my poker career. It's exciting, exciting times. Jeff, final words on what a final table that was? I mean, anytime you see a seven-figure payout, especially online, you know you're in for a treat. I thought players were world-class. We saw some of the best plays, best moves, uh, some really top-level stuff, and I'll definitely be taking some notes and checking in with some of these guys, trying to see what they were doing. And like we said, Patrick Leonard uh, really, really maneuvered well, and I'd love to chat with him, hopefully have him on in the future. But again, big, big thank you. Everyone was so pleasant. Such a nice day, such a nice afternoon here in the U.S. I know uh, the European broadcast time, it's it's perfect, it's fun, and we'll be having many more streams to come. So that was great. Thank you so much. And once again, like every previous guest, send me your Bitcoin address. I will send you money. I take another L on the prop bet. <laughs> That's all right. It was, hey, I appreciate the action and we can always run it back. So <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. That was so fun, man. So good. Good.